just about set to go. A lot of emotion in this crowd today. You can hear them behind us. Glenn Herrera cranking up the leg, getting ready to kick off here with a play-by-play -play this afternoon's game on the Cowboy Network, Frank Lieber. Thank you very much, Brad, and we are ready to go. And deployed is the deep man, none other than Terry Metcalf, standing in single safety on the goal line up around the 10-yard line. The Cardinals have Wayne Morris, the ex-SMU star, and tight end Jackie Smith. And Tom Landry indicated that he would have Herrera and also Danny White, his partner, whenever possible, kick away from Terry Metcalf. So it'll be interesting to see what Herrera does on this opening kickoff. Temperature just over 60 degrees, cloudy, fog, drizzly day. They expected partly cloudy and sunshine at 75, but we don't have it. Awaiting the whistle from referee Fred White is Herrera. He's got it, and here we go. Advances, booms the ball deep. Metcalf will field it at the one, straight up the middle of the five. 10, 15 yard line, crosses the 20 up to the 24. And Metcalf has dropped at that point, and the Cardinals have put it in play first and 10, making the stop for the Cowboys. Rookie linebacker Mike Higman. So the Cardinals have put it in play with Tom Banks at center, Conrad Dobler and Bob Young at guards, Roger Finney and Dan Deardorff the tackles. The tight end, J.B. Kane. Wide receivers, Mel Gray and Ike Harris, Terry Metcalf and Jim Otis, the running backs, and Jim Hart will be the quarterback. First and 10, St. Louis from its 24. The Big Red moves up to the line of scrimmage. Gray. Wide out to the right side. Benny Barnes picks him up. Mark Washington, by the way, is starting in place of Mel Renfro, who still has a knee problem. Metcalf in motion to his left on the long count play at his heart. Throwing for Mel Gray at the 30 on the near sidelines. He's hit hard and bounced out of bounds, but not before he picks up seven or eight yards. Barnes making the tackle on him at the 33, making the 34-yard line. It'll be within a yard of a first down. Charlie Waters coming up with the assist. Dallas defense. Ed Jones, Jethro Pugh, Bill Gregory, and Harvey Martin up front. Bob Brunick, Leroy Jordan, and D.D. Lewis, the linebackers. And Benny Barnes, Mark Washington, Charlie Waters, and Cliff Harris, the deep back. Second down, a yard for the Cardinals at their 33-yard line. Early moments of the ball game, no score. Jim Hart calls the signal, spins, fakes, hands off the Otis, he's got hold. Otis stopped at the line of scrimmage and then shoved back by linebacker D.D. Lewis. No gain in the play. If anything, a loss of a half yard or so. Caught a third down. Now a long yard needed for the first down. Frank, on that particular play, we had a sort of a counter type play. They were actually running to our defensive right or offensive left. Uh, Otis came back to this side. Didi Lewis made an outstanding play. Met him. And, of course, I think Otis may be a little bigger than Didi, but Didi stood him right up and had a lot of help from the Cowboys. I think from the very inception here today, uh, we saw a lot of enthusiasm on the opening kickoff, Frank, and it uh, looks like it is going to be a, a game full of fireworks today. Cardinals wanted the measurement and got it. It was really a lot closer than we thought. Instead of being a full yard, it's more like a foot needed for the first down. It'll be third down one. Referee in the ball game is Fred Wyant, the umpire Tom Hedgley, the head linesman Leo Miles, the line judge Don Orr, the back judge Jack Steffen, and the field judge Fred Swearingen. Cowboys with a victory could pull out to a two-game lead, virtually insurmountable in the NFC East, although they can't actually clinch a playoff berth today. Cardinals with two tight ends in there, digging in tough now, and third down in a yard at their own 34. Long count play by Hart. He fumbles the snap, and he did not pick it up. However, we got a flag down. It may be a Cowboy offside. Let's see which way they call it. I tried to pull away from the center and fumble the snap and then simply fell on it for the loss. It's offside Dallas. And that gives the Cardinals the first down. So that's the kind of break that the Cowboys don't need, Bob. Well, Frank certainly is. That's, uh, you know, it's in a game like this especially, it's the kind of thing that might lead on to either a field goal or a touchdown. I've seen it happen many times that way. And uh, you got to take advantage of your opponents. Offside defense. First down. Yeah, we heard our man on the field tell us uh, as I was saying, uh, any time your opponent, uh, such as Cardinals, makes a, a mistake like that, Frank, you gotta, you got to take advantage of it. We didn't do it that time. So the Cardinals pick up the first down of the penalty. They have the football now at the 39-yard line in their end of the field. Otis and Metcalf, the setbacks behind Jim Hart, and we're set to go as Hart calls the signals. Fades back to throw. First pass of the day. Second pass, I should say. Far sideline completes it to Ike Harris across the 45 to the 47-yard line. D.D. Lewis makes the stop a couple of yards short of the first down, but again, the Cardinals 
have got the Cowboys in that second and two situation, which is right where they want them, Bob. Well, that certainly is. I, I noticed that on the first play, Frank, and I thought, well, maybe he's going for a down and out for 10 yards. You know, most of the time you'll see a team try to get at least the first down. But what I think hearts do, I think their strategy is to get down around eight, seven or eight yards on the play and have, a, you know, the uh, surprise element coming up on the next play. Second down two. Cardinals at their 47-yard line. They've taken the opening kickoff and held the football. Hart sends Metcalf in motion to the left side. Jim spins, fakes, hands off to Otis. He's got the first down. Crosses the 50 is into Dallas territory at the 47-yard line before Cliff Harris nails him at the far sideline. So that's the second first down in this drive for the St. Louis Cardinals. And one thing they do so well, Bob, is play that ball control because they don't have that strong a defense. No, they certainly do. And, of course, as I started to say a minute ago, uh, they're getting that seven eight yards on the first down. You really don't know what they're going to do on second down because it's second two or three. Uh, they can run or pass, and it puts your uh, cornerbacks and linebackers in a real predicament, right? Cardinals have Pat Tilly hit at wide receiver replacing Mel Gray. Now, Gray's been bothered with a broken nose here. Missed two games up until last week before Washington. Here's a handoff to Metcalf. Sweeps the right side. Penalty marker down. He's inside the 40-yard line and down to the 35-yard line of the Cowboys. And I believe he's got another first down, but there were two markers down back at the line of scrimmage. And this one, I believe, will come back and be against St. Louis. Charlie Waters and Cliff Harris make the stop. Well, again, uh, Frank, I, I saw one play there. It looked like a possible tackle on Leroy Jordan. And I know in the first game when they played the Cardinals, Leroy told me that each time that, uh, well, in fact, it looked like a tackle to me from behind, uh, uh, there were two calls on the play, but I do think that uh, what the Cardinals try to do is they try to cut off pursuit, and if they have to tackle you, they do it. And so far, they've gotten by with it, but they may have been caught this play. Now, discussion going on near midfield with uh, Cowboy co-captain Leroy Jordan. Undoubtedly, the Cowboys will take the penalty here. The gain by Metcalf resulted in almost 10 yards, and the holding penalty will send it back into St. Louis and to the field of the 38-yard line. Let's hear about it now from the... Uh, Referee, Fred White, as he gives us the call. Illegal crackback, number 35 offense. Well, it was called against Jim Otis, an illegal crackback block. And that cost him more than 10. That cost him the full 15. So the ball moves back to the 38-yard line in St. Louis end of the field. It's now first down, 25. No score with 12.43 left to play in the opening period here at Texas Stadium. Hart brings it up to the line of scrimmage. Sends Ike Harris wide to the left side. He's got Pat Tilly split to the right. Here's Hart calling the signals, looking right in the eyes of Leroy Jordan. Fakes into the middle, back to throw. Gets it out to Metcalf. One-handed grab at the 40-yard line. Evades one tackler, gets up to the 43. Picks up five on the play. D.D. Lewis finally came in to make the kill for the Cowboys. So that will set up second down and 20 for the Cardinals. Well, Hart hasn't missed one yet. Three out of three for 22 yards for the Cardinal quarterback. Frank, he certainly had, and they're, they're, again, they're taking uh, pretty good advantage of the Cowboy-type defense. We play the run normally on first down, second down and short, and they're throwing the ball on uh, first down a lot, and, of course, on that particular play, they had a play-action-type pass. Second down, 20. Cardinals from their own 43-yard line. Steve Jones has come into the backfield, replacing Otis. Here's Hart back to throw. Cowboy rushes on. He drills it near sideline. Diving catch, and no, it's ruled incomplete. It's ruled a trap ball at the 45-yard line of the Cowboys by wide receiver Pat Tilly. Charlie Waters was back there defending, but they say that Tilly picked it up on the first hop. So it's an incompleted forward pass, and it puts the Cardinals in a third down, 20 situation. Well, Frank, on that particular rush, I was watching Ed Jones uh, rush in there, and he was using the... Uh, power type rush that I thought probably would work better against this team. He looked like he was a little bit high. We had a stunt in the middle from Lee, from uh, Jethro and Bill Gregory, but they had three men picking him up, so they did uh, have a good pass protection on the right down the right, Let's see if the Cowboys could hold it here. Third down, 20. Cardinals at their own 43-yard line. Cowboys still haven't seen the football offensively. The blitz is on. Here's Hart being pursued. Gets the pass away. It's complete. He had Aaron Kyle. He had Henderson. He had Cliff Harris coming at him. Are ruling that he uh, are trying to get a ruling that uh, that he dumped the ball, grounded the pass illegally. 
But the officials say no, but nevertheless, the Cowboys will get their first chance of the football. Maximum blitz that time, Bob. It sure was. A great blitz. Uh, they tied up all the guys in the middle. The two tackles grabbed two guys each, and it allowed the linebacker and the safety to come in. The thing was on that pass, rarely will a referee ever call uh, a grounding prank whenever the guys have, a, have him by the jersey or have a hold to the quarterback. Normally, it'll be when the quarterback's free and he just throws the ball out there inadvertently. Terry Joyce in to do the punting. He's not had a good year for the Cardinals. Deep Matt is Butch Johnson. Gets this one away. High and fairly deep. Johnson waiting at the 18-yard line. Heads to the far sideline. Now cuts back to the middle. Across the 20 and hit at the 22-yard line and dropped at that point. So the Cowboy offense will see the football for the first time this afternoon with 11 minutes and 37 seconds left to play in the opening period following the 39-yard punt. There's a timeout of the field with a score. The Cardinals nothing. The Cowboys nothing. Dallas Cowboys football continues in a moment. scooter is happily priced. Only $29.99. That's manufacturer's suggested retail price, including dealer preparation, taxes, license, destination charge, and available equipment additional. Chevette is rated at 43 miles per gallon highway, 31 miles per gallon city, with available 1.6 liter engine and manual transmission. EPA estimates actual mileage may vary. No American car has ever sported EPA mileage ratings like these before. All right, here we go. First and ten, Cowboys ball at their 22. Pitch out. Staubach to Preston Pearson wide to the right side. Caught behind the line of scrimmage. We get a penalty marker throw. Pearson just does get back to the line of scrimmage where he is swapped by the red-shirted Cardinals. Leading the charge was Tim Kearney, the former Cowboy linebacker. And we've got a cliff coming up against Dallas. Frank, it looked like play just took a little bit too long to develop there. And, uh, of course, Jay Sawley was over there. I saw him working real hard on his man, but I believe he's the one that would call for the uh, holding or the cliff, whichever it may be. Cowboys started the ball game offensively with two tight ends in there. Sawley was in there and Billy Joe Dupree. And now Saldy comes out of the game, and Golden Richards, who is a questionable starter, is in the lineup for the Cowboys. The penalty walk-off moves the ball back. Clipping. Up it. So the ball is spotted back at the 10-yard line. That's exactly what we didn't want to see, Frank. Uh, yeah. Cowboys in that long yardage situation. They got into that against Atlanta in the last quarter last week. And boy, it killed them. Here's Staubach bringing him up to the line. Preston Pearson and Scott Laidlaw are the setbacks. Roger hands off to Laidlaw. Hit at the line of scrimmage by Mike Dawson. And shove back. No gain on that play. Dawson, big rookie tackle, the number one draft pick of the St. Louis Cardinals with a fine defensive play as the Cowboys uh, go nowhere. Cowboys started to get that running game going again against Atlanta, particularly Laidlaw, who picked up 88 yards, suffered a bruised uh, leg muscle, and uh, has not worked out that much this week. Well, we had, a, we had a pretty good hole there for a moment, Frank, and I believe the back was a little bit late in hitting. Blaine Nye did slip off of his man just a little bit soon, and uh, had he stayed uh, with his block maybe another fraction of a second, uh, we might have had a real good play. Second down, 21. Cowboys at their 11. Injury report on Mel Gray. He was shaken up on that first series of downs, but probably will be back in the game. Here's Staubach, got him in the shotgun, and now Rogers is going to call time. Roger took a look up and saw that the 32nd clock had run down to one second. And rather than take the delay of game penalty at another five yards, he called timeout. So Dallas obviously took a lot of time trying to get that play up. In fact, uh, Roger hadn't even assumed the stance behind the quarterback when he looked up and saw the 32nd clock. There's a timeout of the field with a score. The Cowboys nothing and the Cardinals nothing. Dallas Cowboys football continues in a moment. How would you like to go to Super Bowl XI? At Orion Nagavox, it's touch tune sweepstakes, with prizes totaling over $1 million. Come into Orion Nagavox, ask for a demonstration of a new touch tune television, and you'll receive free an official sweepstakes entry card for instant savings and prizes. You could win an expense paid trip for two to Super Bowl XI in Los Angeles, California. 
Everyone's a winner at Orion Magnavox. Come in and enter now. Catch your star at Orion at Redbird Mall. The Dallas Cowboys, super champions of football. In the tire business, there's a superstar named Vic Salvino to take care of your every tire need. And Vic Salvino has great deals on Pirelli high-performance radios for imports, sport and all-American cars. Few products have gained such widespread respect in the automotive world as Pirelli. Hi, Frank Lieber to tell you to visit Vic Salvino Tire Company at 280 Preston Forest Village and 3307 West Mockingbird. And let his stars put a super Pirelli on your car. Second down, 21. Cowboys at their own 11. Up to the line of scrimmage in the shotgun. Starbuck standing on the five. Takes a direct snap. Blitz is on by the Cardinals. He gets the pass away. The diving attempt at the reception is incomplete. No good. Preston Pearson, the intended receiver, out around the 24-yard line. But he was covered uh, very nicely by the uh, Cardinals' Jeff Severson. In fact, they had a very good play call in. Uh, Preston was wide open. The blocking was very good. The Cowboys looked like they... Uh, started picking up the blitz from the shotgun formation. They're leaving an extra back in there, and of course the Cardinals did have a couple extra men coming, but they picked them up with no problem. Uh, hopefully Roger can get on target here within the next play or two, and we'll see a few more fireworks from the Dallas Cowboy offense. 10.42 left in the opening period. No score, third down. 21 yards needed for the first down. Cowboys back at their 11, come out again in the shotgun formation. Staubach awaits the snap. This time, no blitz on, but he's rushed, gets away, a pass in the end zone, fielded by Laidlaw at the 10. Loose football, fumbles it to the 15. It is picked up by Sensabaugh, but it's going to be rolled and incompleted forward pass. Sensabaugh ran it into the end zone, but fortunately for the Cowboys, it's going to be rolled incomplete, I believe. Frank, once again, on that particular play, we had a, we had a real good play, a good deceptive play set up. I think the, the thing that really hurt the play was the fact that one of the Cowboy linemen uh, didn't hold his man quite long enough. You've got to keep him out at least uh, one second and give the quarterback time. I'm not sure. I believe he's coming out over center there and uh, put a little bit too much pressure on Roger. He had to throw the ball a little high and uh, so we had a fortunately an incomplete pass. Laidlaw never got a handle on it really and that's why it was ruled incomplete. Here's Danny White the putt. He's four yards deep in the end zone. Nine man rush by the Cardinals who have Terry Metcalf back deep. Good snap, and they're playing return all the way. Metcalf uh, waiting for this one as it angles toward the near sidelines and goes out of bounds inside the 50-yard line, in fact, closer to the Dallas 40-yard line. So the Cardinals will come out of it here in excellent field position with a first down at the Dallas 41 as 30 yards on the puck by Danny White. There's a timeout of the field with the score. The Cardinals nothing, the Cowboys nothing. Dallas Cowboys football continues in a moment. If you're tired of losing mileage, Price of gasoline. If your car was lost its performance, it's just not a running clean. If you wanna help your problem, there's a quick and simple way. Fill her up with champions. Fill her up with champions today. Right now, getting more mileage costs less during Champions Better Mileage Sale. Buy seven Champions spark plugs from 072 through 75 American D8, and you'll get one free. Fill her up with Champions now while the supply lasts. At participating dealers displaying the Champion mileage sales sign. You want to fight, get prices in the least expensive way. Fill her up with Champions. Sham at Texas Stadium. We have 10:29 left in the opening period. No score, but so far the Cardinals have had the best of it. Cowboys have looked very sluggish once again and bothered by penalties. First and 10, Cardinals at the Dallas 41 after the 30-yard punt by Danny White. Cardinals are up to the line of scrimmage. Here is Jim Hart back to throw it. The rush is on by the Cowboys. Good protection over the middle and complete. Intended for Pat Tilly at the 15-yard line. He really had a reach for it, and Cliff Harris made him pay. Mark Washington was also back there on coverage. That pass slightly overthrown by Hart, but his protection was excellent, Bob. Well, his protection was excellent. Of course, Frank, as I mentioned earlier, I think the Cardinals are going to pass on first down a lot. They, re they realize that the Cowboys are playing uh, the run on first down and then on second short, as I mentioned earlier. And what they're going to do, they're just going to sit there on first down and pass. When they get into a second down situation, I expect we'll see an awful lot of play action type passes. 
Al Gray is still out of the ball game for St. Louis. Hart sends Tilly wide to the left side. His other wide receiver, Ike Harris, in the slot. Inside of Tilly, off to the left. Second and ten. Cardinals from the Cowboy 41. Straight hand off to Otis, looking for some running room. Tripped up at the line of scrimmage and stumbles forward inside the 40-yard line to the 38. It was Harvey Martin making the stop for the Cowboys. For the first time, the, uh, the Cowboys have the uh, Cardinals in the long yardage situation here with third down eight. Frank, that's what they've been looking for, and that was an outstanding play by Harvey Martin. Actually, he got blocked. He was going in the wrong direction. He recovered, just barely recovered, and with one arm brought down Otis, who I'm sure is about the same size as Harvey. Cowboy prevent defense is in there. That means Aaron Kyle, Randy Hughes, Randy White and company. Third down eight. Cardinals from the Cowboy 38. Hart back to throw it. Here comes the right. He gets the pass away. Near sideline to Harris. Good for the first down, and he is knocked down at the 27-yard line. Ike Harris, a refugee from the World Football League who was originally drafted by the St. Louis Cardinals, played a couple of years with the Southern California team, and then came back and made it big with St. Louis last year. He's the leading pass receiver this year for the Cardinals, and on a big third down and eight play, they come through and have a first down at the Cowboy 27. Frank, on that last play, we had a super rush from both of, both of our defensive ends, but we had very little penetration up the middle, and that's why our hearts just stepped right up and had plenty of time to throw the ball. Cardinals driving, no score in the football game midway in the first period. St. Louis now in field goal range with a first down at the Dallas 27. Handoff Metcalf, he sweeps right. Lewis trying to run him down, and Dede bumps him out of bounds at the line of scrimmage. No game. Good defensive play by Dede Lewis, making excellent penetration up the middle, and then stringing it out and refusing to let Metcalf turn the corner. Frank, seems like they're, most of the running plays have been off tackle or around in, and of course on that particular play, Benny Barnes was the man who actually contained it. D.D. Lewis kind of what we called uh, hunted down the line. We used to call it going from hole to hole, they're hunting. But uh, he did a great job coming over. Benny Barnes stopped the play, and, of course, D.D. made the tackle. Officials mark it at the 28. That means a loss of a yard. Second down, 11 for the Cardinals at the Cowboy 28. Pat Tilly wide to the right side. Ike Harris in the slot inside of him. Steve Jones has replaced Otis as a running back. Here's Hart back to throw it. Again, the rush comes and blocks. The pass is blocked by Ed Jones. Forward pass up to third down and 11, and again the Cowboys prevent comes on. Frank, they had a super play set up. What they were actually doing that time, it was a screen play, and they had two linemen already out. They had to keep Jones from making too fast a penetration, and what he was going to do was delay it a little bit, throw it over Jones's head, and uh, or run him on by the quarterback, which they didn't do. Jones jumped up, knocked the play down, and put the Cowboys in a good position here on third down. All right, Ike Harris wide to the right side. Barnes comes up to meet him. Tilly is split to the left. Mark Washington up on him. Third down, 11. Cardinals at the Cowboy 28-yard line. Cowboys trying to hold him. Hart, here comes the blitz. Back to throw it. He gets it away. It is incomplete. At the feet of Mike Harris, as again, Hart was hurried by the maximum blitz of the Cowboys on third down. Aaron Kyle, Henderson really blew through there and harassed him. I think the Cowboys have probably been going back through some of the old fans, the old Cardinal fans that we used to have. Uh, anytime you put quick pressure on Hart, he does have a tendency to just throw the ball up for grabs or throw it, throw it away, and that's what he's done uh, each time we've had a pretty good rush on him here, Frank. Worley will hold, and Jim Bakken will try a 45-yard field goal. He'll put it down at the 35-yard line. Tom Banks over the ball. Here's the snap. It's a fake. Here's Worley rolling out to his right, driving for the first down. He did not make it. No, sir. The Cowboys run him out of bounds at the 19-yard line. Dallas takes over. over there. Worley was trying to tight walk, tight rope the near sidelines, and boy, he darn near made it. Frank, he was tight walking or tight, tight walking that sideline as well as I've ever seen anyone. In fact, it, it could have been either way. I think he did step out, but it was barely. And, uh, of course, D.D. just barely pushed him. Yeah, he did. He went right out. That was a fantastic play by D.D. Lewis. I don't think they expected that at all, Frank. So the Cowboys stop another Cardinal threat. It's first down Dallas with the ball at the 19-yard line. Here's Roger Staubach. Feeding the ball to Preston Pearson, tries the right, uh, right side and knifes forward to the 23-yard line. Cowboys obviously feel the Cardinals can be run on. You recall last week, Mike Thomas of the Redskins picked up 195 yards rushing, set a Redskin team record against St. Louis. Well, one thing I've noticed about the Cardinals when they play Dallas, they play Dallas a little bit different than they do most teams, Frank. They don't, the linemen don't charge as aggressively as they do against most teams. 
They seem to stay at home, sort of wait for the play to come. Pick up a four by Pearson at second down six for the Cowboys at their 23. Golden Richards starts in motion from left to right across the backfield. Here's Roger Staubach. Back to throw. Looks to his right. Goes to Drew Pearson. Diving catch for the first down for Drew at the 30-yard line. Looks like he just has it up for the first down. And that will be the Cowboys' first first down of the ball game. Roger Worley over there to cover him and shove him out of bounds. Immediately in front of the Cardinal bench beneath us. Frank, I'm, I'm certainly glad to see that kind of timing uh, redevelop between Roger and his receivers because... That is a very difficult pass to throw. It, uh, it looks rather easy, but it's a timing type throw, and uh, I'm just happy to see that. That's uh, just beyond the, the first down mark, and I know that's what the Cowboys are trying to do. At Starbucks, first pass completion of the day. He's one for three. First and ten from the 30. Straight handoff, laid off the middle to the 35-yard line. Strong five yards on some hard running by Scott Laidlaw, Mark Arneson, number 57, and Mike Dawson making the stop for the St. Louis Cardinals. It'll be second down five. Uh, we had some outstanding blocking there by Blaine Nye and John Fitzgerald. Uh, I feel like the Cowboys' best running game really is right up the middle. They've got some big, strong guys in there in the middle of the line. Uh, the head-on-head -head blocking the Cowboys are very good at, and those quick plays, I think, work against the Cardinals a lot better than the finesse. Laidlaw apparently took a pretty good shot. He's out of the ball game and is replaced by Robert Newhouse. Second down five from the 35, handoff Preston Pearson over the right side, drives out to the 37-yard line. That'll set up third down three. Now we get a little scuffle down there after the whistle as the ball popped out free. Charlie Davis, the left tackle, former TCU Horn Frog, Robert, making the stop. Well, there's a few of them around. There certainly are. <laughs> a couple of them left down there. Third down, Cowboys will need just under three yards for the first down with the ball at the 38-yard line. In their end of the field, this has been the Cowboys' deepest penetration so far. Six minutes. And a few seconds left to play in the opening period. No score. Teams kind of feeling each other out here in the opening quarter at Texas Stadium of this crucial NFL East battle. Here's Staubach faking to Pearson. Back to throw. Good protection to Newhouse. Newhouse with a diving catch. Rolls out of bounds. Has the first down at the 43. Bob had to go up high for that one. Pulled it down and his own momentum carried him out of bounds, but not before he picked up the first down. Well, that was a great, great throw and a great catch by Robert Neal. Of course, Robert's a little bit short, but he jumped up and made a super catch. I think Roger came off of Drew Pearson and came back to Newhouse on the, and knew that he had enough for a first down there. They are trained to, to back the relief valve to get down far enough to get the first down, right? Second first down of this drive for the Cowboys. They're now at their 43-yard line. First and ten. Still no score in the football game. Staubach has him out of the eye. Hands off to Preston Pearson. Second man through. Hit at the line of scrimmage. Bounces forward for maybe a yard. It'll be second and nine. Let's pause 15 seconds for station identification. This is the Dallas Cowboys Radio Network. Dear Zachary, my wife pesters me about the cracks in our walk. What can I do? Dear pestered you, Zachary, concrete mix and patch things up. Zachary, the original weekend wonder. The voice of the Cowboys. This is KRLD Dallas. Scott Laidlaw back in the game for the Cowboys, replacing Newhouse. It is second down nine for the Cowboys from their 45-yard line. Starbuck straight back to throw. Good protection for Roger. Now he sees an opening. Going to run it. He's to the 50. Down to the 45 and slide forward to the 42-yard line. Mike Dawson, the big defensive tackle, stumbles over him, and that draws some booze. No penalty marker from the officials. 14-yard pickup on the play. I can believe we have a flag on this sideline. I'm not sure uh, whether it was interference with the receiver or whether it was. That was against the Cardinals. In that case, the Cowboys will probably decline the penalty unless it is indeed bumping on Staubach. And that will be the case. That'll be another 15 yards. Back down to the end of the penalty, which will move the ball down to the Cardinals 25 and we'll get the ball. Cardinals guilty of the personal foul. He was not involved in that little altercation with Staubach. It was Mike Dawson who tripped over him, and the fans thought perhaps a personal foul should have been called there. But a 14-yard pickup on the scramble and 15 additional on the personal foul puts the Cowboys in great shape at the Cardinal 25 with a first down. Here we go. Roger Staubach has the ball to Preston Pearson, and again, he's hit hard as he crosses the line of scrimmage, squeezes through for perhaps a yard. It'll be second down nine. 
like what we've got. We've got uh, the Cardinals playing a very, very basic defense, just a 4-3 type defense. And uh, as I said earlier, their tackles don't seem to be going anywhere on, on a running situation. They're just staying where they are. They're trying to take up the blockers, and they've got their linebackers coming in there to help out, and that's who's making most of the plays. They're stacking it up, the linebackers are making the plays. Second and nine. Drew Pearson wide to the right side. Golden Richards in the slot inside of him. Blade Law and Preston Pearson in the eye. Here's the pitch to Preston Pearson. Cuts back in to the 20. Tries to get outside to the 19-yard line. Looked for a moment like he might break it for a big gainer, but Ken Reeves came up to make the stop for the St. Louis Cardinals, and the Cowboys are faced with a third down and looks like a long four. Needed for the first down at the Cardinal 19. That was almost a shovel play, Frank. Uh, I think the Cowboys realize that Preston is at his best when he's kind of running in open field, whether he catches the ball in open field or whether it's a shovel pass or whatever it may be. And uh, he made a real good move on that play to pick up as many yards as he did. Tough situation here for the Cowboys. Third down and a long four with the nose of the football just inside the 20-yard line. Pearson wide to the left side, and Richards in the slot inside of him. Billy Joe Dupree is flanked out to the right. Roger back in the pocket to throw. Protection is good. He's opening up the middle. He's to the 15, the 10, the 5. He is down to the 2-yard line. First down, goal to go. One of the Cardinals, Mike sends the ball, wrestle the ball free. And it looked that time like Roger Staubach was hell-bent to go for the goal line. He wrapped those arms around the football at about the five and tried to make like O.J. Simpson for all the world. Mark, one thing about Roger, he had, he had plenty of time there, but there's one thing about Roger. Any time he has a bad game, you can look for anything the next week. And I think today that he is so determined. Uh, he knows he's not going to throw the ball away this week, and he is so determined that he'll run, and I, I don't think he cares if he runs into the tank. Cowboys up to the line of scrimmage. Starbuck signals for quiet. First down, goal to goal from the two-yard line. Roger calls the line down. Hand off to Pearson. Pearson is stopped at the line of scrimmage for no game. Well, he keeps sending Pearson up the middle, and he doesn't find any room at all up there, Bob. Well, it, you know, of course, down here, Frank, is pretty tough. They've got a, about an equivalent of seven men on the line of scrimmage, and basically it's a one-on-one. -on -one. It's one lineman of ours against one of theirs, and a lot of times you just don't know which way they're going to charge that particular time i believe the charge was inside which was the way preston was going and had roger maybe lateraled out i think it would have been a touchdown play. second down goal to goal wallace and scott alternating plays from the bench Staubach calls the line down for the cowboys he said marks the signals roger fakes goes back to throw he's got rainbow wide open touchdown Cowboys 11 plays to travel 80 yards. Actually, just a shade more than 80 yards. Illegal procedure against Dallas will move them back five yards, so they'll try the extra point from five yards further back. Herrera has not missed an extra point try this year. Frank, there's another example of a mistake, and those kind of mistakes. You, can offense, miss offense. Time, right? you know, those are the things that kill you. You just can't afford to do this. Ralph ne Neely guilty of the false start, so now Herrera ready to go again. Waters puts it down, kick is up, it is good. He's got it. There's the timeout of the field with the score of the Cowboys, seven the Cardinals, nothing. Dallas Cowboys football continues in a moment. <laughs> Chevy excitement is back and at your Dallas County Chevy dealer showroom now. For 1977, the all-new Caprice and Impala models have more headroom, more rear seat legroom, more trunk space, and get more miles per gallon than our 76 cars. 
And the place to see and drive the beautiful new Chevrolets is the showroom of a participating Dallas County Chevy dealer. They really measure up to what you expect when you buy your new car. See the new Chevrolets at Friendly Chevrolet, Duran Chevrolet, or Stakely Chevrolet today. Chevy for 77. Now that's more like it. So get a new Chevy. Labor along with Brad Sham and Bob Lilly at Texas Stadium. A minute 51 left to play in the opening period, and the Cowboys are first on the board with points. 7 0, Dallas leading as Herrera prepares to kick off from right to left. As we view the action, Terry Metcalf standing on his three yard line. In front of him at about the 14 are Wayne Morris and Jackie Smith. Herrera awaiting the whistle from the referee, Fred Wyatt. I'm kind of expecting a pretty tough coverage here. I saw some pretty good coverage the first kickoff. Good kick. Very deep. Driving Metcalf a yard deep in the end zone. Straight up the middle. 5, 10, 15. Out to the 20-yard line. It's headed to 23. That's pretty tough coverage, like you said. Thomas Henderson, number 56, was the first man down. Cardinals first and 10 at their 23-yard line. Like I'll tell you, the, the uh, young guys on the Cowboy team seem to be fired up this week. They're really going down on these kicking teams, and uh, the first kickoff was just about like the last one. I think if, this one might have even been better if uh, a couple of them had to slid down. Let's talk a little bit after this play about what Staubach is doing this afternoon, starting to scramble, which we haven't seen him do in quite some time. It'll probably loosen up the Cardinals. He's kind of reverting back to his back to nature again, the thing that comes naturally to him. First and 10, Cardinals at the 23, handoff Metcalf squirts up the middle across the 25 and out close to the 30-yard line before D.D. Dee Dee Lewis makes the stop. Pickup of six, second down four. Well, that was a, a very fine play. What that was, basically, Frank, was just a trap play. The, the off guard came across, knocked Ed Jones out. Uh, the center went on Leroy, and they came right up the middle with the ball. But getting back to Roger Staubach, uh, I think it's really a, a great thing that he chose today to come back with his scramble because it's going to keep him loose all day. Second down four. Metcalf comes out of the ball game. They've got Otis and Steve Jones now as the running backs. Hart calls the signals. Jim fakes, hands off to Otis. Otis is caught at the line of scrimmage. Drives forward, maybe gets a yard or so. Good defense by the Cowboys that time as Larry Cole corrals Otis at the 31-yard line. That'll set up third down and still three needed for the first down. Well, that was a great play by Larry Frank. He, he had what we call a, a, an outside call on and Actually, I think the guard anticipated that Larry would go inside. When he didn't, Larry was really free and made the play with, with very little trouble. Let's see if the Cowboys can hold him here on the third down situation. Cardinals are two out of four on third downs. They have the ball at their own 31-yard line, trailing 7-0. Hart up to the line of scrimmage, ready to go. Handing off to Metcalf, sweeps the right side. Metcalf trying to pick up the first down, and he may have gotten it, but he is punished on a tackle at the 35-yard line. Cliff Harris and Betty Barnes submarined him at that point as Metcalf just took off into air to make sure he had enough for the first down, which he did. So the Cardinals first and 10 at their 35-yard line. Well, that was a great play. I don't know. I watched uh, Ed Jones again on that play, and uh, he disappeared out of the picture, Frank. And I don't think we had real good containment on that picture play. There's the gun. That signals the end of the quarter with the score of the Cowboys 7. The Cardinals nothing. Dallas Cowboy football continues in a moment. Saturday, the traditional day of the big game, is now the day of the big treat. Yes, this Saturday, bring your family to Jack in the Box, or after the game meal, they'll never forget. Try a Jumbo Jack hamburger, a Jack Big Sandwich, a Super Scoop of gold and French fries. Those are just a few of the things you'll find at Jack in the Box to make your big treat really big. And with every big treat, you'll get big service. Most Jack in the Box restaurants are open 24 hours a day. And with our drive through service, you don't even have to get out of your car. After the game, stop into a Jack in the Box for your big treat and take life a little easier. Members of the Dallas Cowboy Radio 
radio broadcast team is provided by Outfitters Men's Clothing at North Park. Outfitters, what if we were right for you and you didn't even know it? Mike Lieber with Bob Lilly, Brad Sham at Texas Stadium. We're into the second period. Cardinals have a first and ten at their 35-yard line. First quarter stats just about dead even. Dallas at 64 yards. Total yardage, the Cardinals 61. So, for the most part, pretty much of a defensive game. Jim Hart so far has hit four out of nine passes for a total of 34 yards. Roger Staubach, three out of five for only 13 yards. But Rodgers had a couple of big rushes, two scrambles, which netted the Cowboys 31 yards and which set them up for the touchdown. up to the line of scrimmage. Pat Tilly wide to the left side. He's still in there for Mel Gray who was shaken up on the first series. That's quite a weapon for the Cardinals to lose if he can't come back. Here's Jim Hart straight back in the pocket to throw near sideline. Almost intercepted. Mark Washington made a grab for it. So did Tilly. They both were down to the ground. And let's see if they rule it a catch or an incompletion. I believe it's going to be ruled incomplete. Or will it? They'll give him the gain on it. Very short yardage on the gain out to the 49-yard line. His back was to us, so he really couldn't tell. To pick up a four yards in the play, it'll be second down six for the Cardinals at their 39. And Washington had an excellent shot at an interception there. He and Tilly both go for the ball. Tilly obviously came down with it. Cardinals second and six from their 39-yard line. Jim Hart. Calling the signals, back in the pocket to throw. Cowboy rushes on. Throw to Tilly, complete across the 50-yard line to the 47 of Dallas. And he is dropped over on the far side, this time by Betty Barnes. So the Cardinals flip-flopping their receivers around. Sometimes uh, Tilly works on Betty Barnes. Other times he works on the uh, the other cornerback, Mark Washington. Frank, I think the Cardinals are using the first down pass, much like most teams use the first down run. They're trying to get field position. Then they got the second down, as we said earlier, to come back and go for the pass or go for the run. And either way, they're going to catch you off balance just a little bit. Officials mark it at the Dallas 46, first and 10 for the Cardinals. We're ready to put the ball in play again. Hard handing off up the middle, straight handoff. It goes to Otis, who gets it inside the 35 and down to the 31-yard line. They pick up a four-yard. Make it Steve Jones in that last play. Pick up a four yards. Larry Cole and Charlie Waters make the stop. It'll be second down six. Frank the Cardinals had uh, two basic plays, uh, one up the middle, of course, and the other outside, and they're, they're working both of them with pretty good execution right now, as well as their short passing game. Cowboys try to dig in, stop this drive, second down, six for the Cardinals at the 42-yard line of Dallas Metcalf. Starts in motion from right to left across the backfield. Here's Hart handing off to Steve Jones, trying to sweep outside, and he's caught at the line of scrimmage. And filled by Leroy Jordan for no gain in the play. Mark Washington came up to help. Well, that was a great play by Mark Washington. He was the one that actually contained the play, and, of course, uh, the pursuit made the play. I did get a glimpse in of what they're doing to the defensive end, and... Uh, on Harvey Martin, they're actually lead blocking. They're jumping. Since the offensive man does have the count, uh, he's getting a little bit of jump on Harvey and Ed, the tackles are, and they're getting position on them, cutting them off from pursuing down the line of scrimmage. Well, the Cowboys have been blitzing on third down and long. Let's see if they do it this time. Third down and a little more than five for the first down for the Cardinals at the Dallas 41-yard line. Dallas with the prevent defense in there. No blitz this time. Mark straight back in the pocket to throw it. Flips it out. The pass complete to Jones, and he's got it up for the first down, I believe, at the 35-yard line. Aaron Kyle was drilling the play out there along with Benny Barnes, but uh, neither could get to Jones before he caught the football, and that's another St. Louis first down. Well, there's no question that Hart is hot today. He's uh, throwing the ball extremely well. He's got plenty of time to throw the ball. We did have a blitz on that last play, Frank. It was a delayed blitz. I think it's sort of a, an actor-type blitz, we call it. Thomas Henderson was in there. He faked it. He came off. Then he hesitated one count and then took off. But he got bumped off just at the last minute or he would have trapped hard. Dallas leading 7-0, but the Cardinals are moving with 11 and a half minutes left to play in the first half. First down at the Cowboy 35-yard line. Here's Hart again back to throw. Pumps it once, floats it out. He's got Harris at the 20. And out of bounds at the 14, 13-yard line is Ike Harris. But we've got a penalty marker back at the line of scrimmage. A flag is down on the play, and we will get a personal foul call against Dallas. So the 
again, in this case, and the penalty will be about the same, I believe. Either way, the Cardinals are going to be in great shape with a first down down around the neighborhood of the 15-yard line, actually inside the 15. The officials ruled that Hart was, or rather Harris was down at the 12. So the Cardinals will decline the penalty. Well, let's see if it's going to be tacked on. At the end of the play, that will be the case, and now the ball has moved inside the 10 to the 6. First full foul, head slap, number 63, defense, first down. Well, that was Larry Cole uh, getting the call for the head flap, and the way the guy, way the offensive line of the Cardinals are holding, I don't blame him. I think maybe next half I'd tape a little piece of steel inside my hand or something, Frank. <laughs> Might not be a bad idea. First down, goal to go. St. Louis at the Dallas six-yard line. Jeff Robieux, by the way, has a bruised shoulder, but should be back in the game. He is not in there right now. Bill Gregory is replacing him. Cardinals at the line of scrimmage. Hand off Otis to the five, maybe the four. And the middle is jammed up at that point. Well, that was a great play by Larry Cole. Uh, he shot through the gap that time. I guess he got kind of mad about the penalty, but he was in there before Otis had the ball hardly. And, of course, Otis being as big as he is, uh, drug him for about a yard gain, I guess, Frank. The officials mark it at the four-yard line. It'll be second down, goal to go at that point. There's Cliff Harris coming out of the ball game, and so is Mark Washington. Cowboys put in a couple of beefier linemen. Cardinals ready. Hart sends Metcalf in motion off to the right side. Fakes, hands off to Jones. Jones is over for a touchdown. However, we've got a marker down, and I think we've got a holding penalty. Yes, against St. Louis. So right off the touchdown on the holding call. Jones took the handoff, slid off the left side, and made a very determined run for the goal line just did get in, but wipe it out because the Cardinals have been called guilty of holding. And we'll get the word here in a moment from referee Fred Wyatt. Holding, number 88, offense. That's J.B. Kane, the tight end. And that throws the ball out to the 14-yard line. That's about as big a break as you could get, Bob. That's certainly a, an extremely big play for the Cowboys, and there was no question about the holding on that play because I have been watching uh, both the ends, and that's what they're trying to do. They are using a little advantage by holding there, Frank. Billy wide to the right side. Benny Barnes comes out to meet him. Rest of the tee in tight for the Cardinals. Second down, goal to go from the Cowboy 14-yard line. Hart calls the signals, drops back into the pocket, rushes on, gets the pass away. It is incomplete at the 10. We get a marker down, and I think now we're going to get a pass interference call against Randy Hughes, which will give the Cardinals a first and goal at the 10-yard line. Frank, there's no doubt about that play. Uh, I saw it all the way, Randy Hughes. They had good pressure on Hart, but... Uh, pass interference, number 42 defense, fourth down. Although the ball possibly would have been overthrown, uh, Cut him down. No, it would have been a first pass. I guess he decided he had to do what he had to do. Well, possibly save the touchdown with the interference call, the way he was uh, very likely. Long. Might have been an outstanding play. First down, goal to go. Cardinals have the ball at the Cowboy 10-yard line. They've had that ball for a long time. The Cowboys have had only two possessions in this game, although they lead it 7-0. Here come the Cardinals. Hand off Otis. Right side down to the five. To the four-yard line, perhaps. Oh, Steve Jones. Leroy Jordan on the stop. Well, they're going around those ends with a lot of horsepower, Frank. They've got uh, probably the biggest offensive line and one of the strongest offensive lines in pro football. And uh, they lead with two guards and big Otis around, around the end there blocking on you as well as the onside lineman. You've got a lot of people coming at you. Otis having kind of an off-season for him. He rushed for better than 1,000 yards last year. He's a cast-off. They picked him up on waivers from Kansas City. Second down, goal to goal. Nose of the ball just inside the Cowboy 5. Hart hands off. Jones to the 5, to the 4. 3, 2, 1, touchdown. Jones plowing over the left side, and the touchdown that was denied him a moment ago, he picks up. And that makes it a 7-6 to six ball game with the extra point try to come. Well, they made it look easy, that last two plays, Bob. Well, I'll tell you, if you notice, uh, you know, Frank, these guys are great blockers. Their fullback is a great blocker. Their 
They're in. They're tight end in there is a good blocker, and their lead guard that's coming around is a good blocker. They're all cut blocking, and they've got a. They just follow through with the block, and that that takes the defensive man right off his feet. Pocket with the extra point try. It is up, and it is good, and we've got a tie football game. There's a timeout on the field. With the score, the Cardinals 7 and the Cowboys 7. Dallas Cowboys football continues in a moment. Sprinter, a road machine that'll get up and get after it. It's a Chevy Monza 2 plus 2 plus. Plus steel belted black wall radio tires and a sport steering wheel. Plus the special Chevy F41 sport suspension package. Plus a lot of other good things. Get it together with the available 5 liter V8 engine. Buckle to a stick shift or automatic transmission. Add front and rear spoilers and you've got your hands on a spider. It's not for everybody, but if the velvet beat up a V8 is playing tunes in your head, then it's for you. Along came a Honda Spider from Chevrolet. See what that does for your curtain away. Nine minutes, 50 seconds left to play in the first half at Texas Stadium, and we're right back where we started. The Cowboys 7 and the Cardinals 7. Frank, it's just been brought to my attention that we've had a, a slight rain going on here for the last uh, 15 or 20 minutes. And uh, this will sometimes hamper uh, the smaller, quicker football players. Now you can't really see it, so it really must be more of a mist. Here's the kickoff. Bakken boots it deep, puts Johnson at the 5. Far sideline, 15, 20, 25, 30. Still on his feet and finally stops at the 35-yard line. Butch Johnson, one of the top kick returners in the National Football League. Brings it back to the 35, and the Cowboys will put it in play from there. This is Dallas' third possession of the ball game. So far, it's been pretty much ball control by the St. Louis Cardinals, which is their game. Like this Butch Johnson is a great athlete. I think he's got tremendous desire, and I'm sure we're going to see a lot more of him and, you know, in other positions on the offensive team other than just the kickoff return man. Robert Newhouse has replaced Laidlaw at the fullback position for the Cowboys, and Doug Dennison is in there at halfback. It's Dennison takes the handoff, starts to the left side, out across the 40 to the 41-yard line. So Tom Landry has gone to replacing both of his starting running backs. Apparently, he was not particularly uh, moved by what he saw in the first period from Laidlaw and from Preston Pearson, and now he's going with Dennison and Newhouse. Mike Dawson made the tackle that time on hard-running Doug Dennison, but not before he picked up six around the left side. Cowboys now moving from their 41-yard line. Second down, four. Drew Pearson is wide to the right side. Otherwise, two tight ends in there. Newhouse over the left side. Stops short of the first down as he reaches about the 44-yard line, and then he's shoved back. Frank, basically what's happening out here on some of these plays, we've just got man-on-man -man blocking, and uh, I believe they're just overpowering our offensive line at times. Uh, we should be maybe getting the guy a little bit lower and, and turning him out because there's no hole there for the back to run through. Uh, what what few times there have been holes, they, evidently the backs have just missed the hole. Dennison and Newhouse come out, and on the uh, third down and one, Laidlaw and Preston Pearson are back in there along with two tight ends, Billy Joe Dupree and Jay Saldi. Third down one from the 43, Staubach throwing on third and one, floats it out for Dupree, he's got it at the 35, down to the 30-yard line of the St. Louis Cardinals. Well, there's one on a part stars, old book. On third down one, Staubach floats the pass to his tight end, Billy Joe Dupree, for 26 yards. And Ken Reeves finally brings him down at the Cardinal 30. Frank, that was very smart football. As we talked earlier, uh, on second one or third and one, you really got the defense at a disadvantage because you're kind of freezing their linebackers and their cornerbacks. They're not certain whether it's going to be a run or a pass. Uh, gives, it does give your tight end especially an opportunity to get downfield and be open. First down, 10 to go. Cowboys, nose of the football just outside the Cardinal 30-yard line. Dallas continues to go with the two tight end offense. Hand off to Pearson. Starts right, cuts back left. He's to the 30 to the 25-yard line before he is dropped. He started to his right side and saw the hole completely plugged, then reversed gears and went back to his left 
and wound up picking up five. Roger Worley and Norm Thompson on the stop for St. Louis. Frank, as fast as the Cardinals are pursuing, now they normally don't play uh, this good a run defense, but as fast as they're pursuing, they, they must have found a key somewhere in the offense, in the Dallas offense, because they're, they're pursuing almost before the play starts. Second down, five. Cowboys up to the line of scrimmage. Pearson wide to the right side, rest of the TN tight. Again, the Cowboys going with the double tight end offense. The handoff on the reverse to Billy Joe Dupree. He's to the 25 and knocked out of bounds at the 24. So a net gain of just a yard. Uh, the play by Dupree, a bit of deception there, but the Cardinals weren't buying it. Mark Arneson and Roger Worley recovering quickly from St. Louis. And that'll set up third down and three. Needed for the first down for the Cowboys at the Cardinal 24. Clock moving along with six and a half minutes remaining in the first half of play. It's the Cardinals seven and the Cowboys seven. Touchdown pass from Roger Staubach to Scott Laidlaw. And a five-yard touchdown run by Steve Jones. The scoring in this game. Now Richards is in the game for the Cowboys. He's in the slot off to the right. Billy Joe Dupree wide outside of him on third down three. And Staubach from the tee goes back to throw over the middle to Preston Pearson. It is incomplete. Pearson looked back a little bit late, saw the ball coming, tried to reach the left hand down and couldn't hold it. Al Bochamp and Tim Kearney were back there defending, so Dallas is put into a long field goal situation here. Well, that was, that was pretty good pass protection then, Frank, and uh, I thought Preston ran a, ran a great route there, double covering Drew, so he had to go to his secondary receiver, which was Preston Pearson, and I think uh, by doing that, just that little adjustment that he had to make, he threw the ball just slightly under him. 41-yard field goal attempt upcoming by Efren Herrera. Waters awaits the snap from Tom Rafferty. He's got it. It's down. It is up. It is no good. Far off to the left as he hit a knuckleball. This wound up spinning wild spiral type kick. Frank, occasionally, you know, when it's damp out there like that, the toe of the shoe will get a little bit wet, and that's the reason they will kick or kind of squib kick the ball. There's a momentary break in the action, so let's pause for this. You're listening to Dallas Cowboys football. It's not a cola, nothing much, much more. It's not a root beer, there are root beers by the door. Drink Dr. Pepper, the joy of every boy and girl. It's the most original soft drink ever in the Herrera misfiring on the field goal attempt. The ball comes back to the line of scrimmage, which is the 24-yard line of the St. Louis Cardinals. We'll put it in play from there with six minutes and six seconds remaining in the first half. It's the Cowboys 7 and the Cardinals 7. And Dallas has appeared to be rather sluggish so far, particularly on the defensive side, as the Cardinals have had really little trouble moving the football. Mark, I think the uh, Cardinals have had very little trouble moving the football against most of the teams they've played this year. They, they have a, an extremely, as we've talked about many times, an extremely fine offensive line, and of course that is the, probably the root of all good offenses. Pat Tilly, the rookie wide receiver, is still in there replacing Mel Gray, who was shaken up on the first series. That's got to be quite a loss for the Cardinals. As we mentioned before, first and ten. Here we go. Cardinals at the 24-yard line of the Cowboys. Hand off to Steve Jones, who has run well. Jones gets past the line of scrimmage, trying to sweep the right side, but gets very little over there. Jethro Pugh is there to close the hole after a pickup of two, maybe three yards of the play. Officials will mark it at the 27-yard line. Call it second down seven. Well, that's a big plus for him, Frank, to have Jethro back in there because he does read the play so well, and his lateral pursuit is extremely good. Of course, you got Bill Gregory back over on uh, the other other tackle where he sometimes substitutes are with Larry Cole. Hart sends Ike Harris wide to the right side. He's got Pat Tilly, the rookie from Louisiana Tech, split to the left. Second and seven. Cardinals at their 27. Score tied at seven. Handoff is to Jones. Rather to Wayne Morris, who has just come into the ball game. And Wayne Morris, the former SMU star, picks up maybe a yard, and that's it. Let's pause 15 seconds for station identification. This is the Dallas Cowboys Radio Network.
Mr. Contractor, Skill Corporation, and Moody Day Company invite you to see the most complete line of heavy-duty skill saws and roto hammers available in the Dallas area. Call Moody Day Company, 631-6460. The voice of the Cowboys. This is KRLD Dallas. Third down seven. Cowboys trying to hold them here. Cardinals moving from their 28-yard line. Jim Hart calls the signals for the St. Louis Cardinals. Long count play. Fades back to throw in the pocket. Good protection. Pass. Complete to Tilly. Not loose. It rules. Incomplete. Good hard tackle by Mark Washington. Jarred the ball loose from the rookie Pat Tilly. He had it, but it popped right out. And the official immediately ruled incomplete his forward pass rather than the fumble. And the Cardinals will have to punt. Well, it was a great pass. Uh, of course, I think Mark's had great coverage all day. He's been right on him uh, once, once or twice. The, the ball could have been intercepted by Mark that particular time. Mark made a super play on him. Terry Joyce in to do the punting for only the second time this afternoon for the St. Louis Cardinals. His first kick covered 39 yards. Butch Johnson is the deep man for the Dallas Cowboys standing back at his 28-yard line. Joyce gets a good snap. Cowboys playing return all the way. Line drives the kick. Johnson moves up at the 33. Fields it goes 35, 40. Far sideline, 45, and almost to the 50-yard line. Excellent return by the rookie from the University of California, Riverside. And the Cowboys will have a first and 10 at their 49. 39-yard punt by Joyce. Time out of the field with the score. Dallas 7, St. Louis 7. Dallas Cowboys football continues in a moment. I feel you need Gabardine blazer and slacks. Berlana, a nifty blend of 85% polyester and 15% wool, tailored into a fully lined two-button blazer. The slacks in solid or contrasting patterns complete this handsome outfit. Hager's new Berlana Gabardine blazer and slacks for the man who likes to be looked at. And what Sanger Harris man doesn't? seconds left to play in the first half as the Cowboys move up on the football. First and ten at their 49-yard line. Full house backfield. Now they send Golden Richards in motion off to the left. Preston Pearson and who else are back? Here's Roger back in the pocket to throw it. He's going long. He's got Pearson down at the 15. It's intercepted. Picked off by Worley at the 15. Back to the 20. Up the far sideline to the 25 across the 30. Still on his feet and finally hit at the 36. Roger Worley Stepping in front of Golden Richards as the pass was underthrown by Staubach. Billy Joe Dupre and Newhouse making the stop, but the Cowboys give the football away. Well, Roger had a lot of time on that particular play. I'm sort of surprised that they would, uh, you know, go for the bomb on the first play, especially to Golden, who has uh, somewhat of a full hamstring. But uh, the ball was a little bit underthrown. Golden was out there. Uh, just one of those plays, Frank. Now, looking at it on the Magnavox monitor, that's exactly what happened because Golden did have a step on his man, and the ball was underthrown and right to early. So now the Cardinals take over, first and ten at their 36-yard line. Here's Hart handing off to Wayne Morris. Tries the right side. Wayne gets through across the 40, out to the 45-yard line. Morris was a fourth-round draft pick for the St. Louis Cardinals, and the Cowboys are kind of kicking themselves. Not publicly, but... Uh, you wonder why they didn't pick Wayne Morris earlier. Because he is a fine running back. He's a great replacement for Terry Metcalf and could play regular for a lot of teams in the NFL. That carry picked up nine yards. It is second down and a yard for the first down for the Cardinals at their 45-yard line. Clock moving with three minutes, 40 seconds left to play in the first half. Hard ready. Spins, fakes, back to throw. Good protection for Hart. Floats it out. Set it for Tilly. He can't hold it. Tried to make a leaping grab at the 15-yard line, and he really stretched out for it. Got his fingertips in the football and couldn't pull it down. Mark Washington was back there defending. But Hart had all the time in the world, Bob, to sit back there and pick him apart. 
Well, he had plenty of time. Of course, he had a, he had also the element of surprise again, Frank. It was second one. Uh, he had plenty of time, as we said. Uh, don't think the Cowboys anticipated it would be a pass, but against the Cardinals, they are a, a very unusual team, a very bright team, and uh, much experience in their quarterback position. And I think, uh, of course, Hart uh, has learned the hard way down through the years, as we know. Cardinals come up with two tight ends now. Jackie Smith joins J.V. Kane on his third down at a yard needed for the first down with the ball at the Cardinal 45-yard line. Hart hands off to Jones. Hard running Steve Jones gets it across the 45 to the 47, and I believe he's got just about enough for the first down. Good second effort by Jones after he was hit initially at the line of scrimmage. Frank, that play certainly shows me that the Cardinals have a lot of confidence in their offensive line. They were very strong to their left. Uh, they actually started to the right, and it was sort of a veer play. He went to the right. It was a slant play to the right and broke back in, actually off of the block of his offensive guard. Hart has already put it in the air 15 times, completed eight for 71 yards. Cardinals, first and 10 from their 47-yard line. So the officials mark it. Here's Jim Hart back to throw it again. Again, excellent protection. Goes long for Tilly, and Tilly pulls it down, but he's out of bounds on the near side. So it goes as incomplete once again. Tilly, young man with great hands, just a little bitty guy, 5'10 and 175, and he's shaking his head and kind of cussing himself because, well, he's dropped one. He almost made a fingertip sensational grab a moment ago and pulled one down there, and he was out of bounds. That's a tough catch, Frank. He was right on the line, and, of course, the ball was slightly overthrown. But the disappointing thing is that the Cardinals have such a great uh, pass protection team. They, the Cowboys really haven't put much pressure on them at all, except in the first quarter when they blitzed a little bit. Redskins sacked Hart four times last Sunday. He hasn't been close to getting his jersey dirty today. Second down, 10. Cardinals at their 47. Billy is wide to the left side. Here's the handoff to Wayne Morris, reached the left side, and run right out of bounds near midfield in front of the Cardinal bench by Mark Washington of the Cowboys. A pickup on the play of perhaps two yards by Morris will set up third down, and the Cardinals need eight for the first with two minutes and 36 seconds left to play in the first half. Well, we had three great plays on that one, Frank. Uh, Harvey Martin escaped the block that time. He pursued down the line. Mark Washington turned the, turned the ball carry in, and D.D. Lewis kept pace with him, so they had three guys, and he just didn't have anywhere to cut up field on him. Hart sends Tilly wide to the right side this time. He's got Ike Harris in the slot inside of him. Third down at a long eight for the Cardinals from their 49-yard line. Obvious passing situation. Cowboy prevent is in there. Here's Hart back to throw it again. Good protection down the sideline. Intended for Harris incomplete. On the far side in front of the Cowboy bench, Mark Washington covering, and he had him covered so well that Hart just might have thrown it away because he threw the ball out of bounds. So again, the Cardinals are forced into a punting situation by the Cowboy defense. And Dallas's offensive unit, everything goes well here, will have at least one more shot at it before intermission. Score tied at seven. With two and a half minutes remaining in the first half, and Terry Joyce comes in to do the punting. Butch Johnson, the deep man, standing back on the Cowboy 10. Cowboys have 10 men up at the line of scrimmage. Let's see if they go for the rush here. They've been feeling back for the return, and they do it again as the snap comes true, and Joyce gets the kick away. Fair catch signal by Johnson. The ball bounds over his head and into the end zone for the touchback, so the Cowboys will take over at the 20-yard line with two minutes and 21 seconds left to play in the first half. Very tight ball game so far. Cowboys scored in the first period. Not a short touchdown pass from Roger Staubach to Scott Laidlaw. And the Cardinals counted in the second period after a long drive on a four-yard dive off left tackle by running back Steve Jones. And that's where we stand as the Cowboys bring it up to the line of scrimmage. Golden Richards is in there once again. He's seen only spot action. When he isn't in there, the Cowboys have been going to a double tight end offense. Here's Staubach handing off to Doug Dennison around the right side across the 20 to the 22-yard line. And there he is torn down. Pick up, up a couple of yards of the play. It'll be second down eight. Roger has put it in the air eight times, completed four so far this afternoon for a total of 39 yards, one touchdown, and had one pass intercepted. 
settling down to the two-minute warning. There's the whistle. There's a timeout of the field with our score, the Cowboys 7 and the Cardinals 7. Dallas Cowboys football continues in a moment. Super Bowl 11. How would you like to go to the Super Bowl in Los Angeles? It's the exciting Magnavox Touch Tune Sweepstakes at Orion Magnavox. Come into Orion. Ask for a demonstration of the all-new Touch Tune Television, and you'll receive free an official NFL TV guidebook and a sweepstakes entry card for instant savings up to $50 and other prizes. Prizes totaling over $1 million. You could even win an all-expense-paid trip for two to Super Bowl XI in Los Angeles, California. All this for the Ryan Magnavox, home of the star, where our professional staff takes pride in representing the largest and most complete selection of Magnavox home entertainment products in the Metroplex. Easy terms are available, along with same-day delivery at no extra cost. Everyone's a winner at Orion Magnavox. Touch tune fruit steaks. Come in now and enter. Catch your star at Orion at Redbird Mall. Still out on the field here at Texas Stadium. When we head back to play, the Cowboys will have the football, second down seven, with the ball at the 23-yard line in Dallas end of the field. As close as it could be. Don't ask us what a tie would do to the divisional playoff situation because it's hard enough to figure out what one team winning and another losing will do. Here we go. Cowboys up to the line of scrimmage. Staubach hands off to Newhouse. Sweeps the right side. Gets a block from Dennis and stumbles. And plows forward across the 25 to the 27-yard line before Mike Sensabaugh makes the stop on him. That'll set up third down and three. Left for the first down. Frank, the Cowboys had a, a very fine play set up that time. They just had one man that they couldn't quite handle. That was uh, their old linebacker, Stallings. He was out there. He just sort of pursued down the line. He had the one guy trying to block him. He fought him off with his arms. Uh, other than that, the Cowboys would have had a very, very fine running play on that one. Cowboys have two timeouts left. The Cardinals have three. The clock is rolling with a minute and 20 seconds left to play in the first half as the Cowboys come up to the line of scrimmage. Third down and a short three, and Staubach goes back to throw. Blitz is on. Gets it away over the middle. It is incomplete. Dupree Prey was down there on a crossing pattern, but we got a marker down at the line of scrimmage. So was Golden Richards, and they were in the same proximity that would lead you to believe that uh, perhaps somebody wasn't running the right pattern. Frank actually had three receivers in the same proximity, and that would lead me to believe that we didn't, uh, maybe we had two guys that weren't running the right pattern. Holding, number 70, offense. Declined, fourth down. Now you heard the referee, Fred Wyatt, tell you about the penalty on that last play. Rayfield Wright called for holding, but the Cardinals declined it because they want one last shot at the football. With a minute 12 seconds to go and three timeouts left, and Perry Metcalf back to receive the punt. You can bet here that Danny White's going to be kicking away from him. There's too many times in the past he has run back kicks and put him in scoring position in the waning seconds of a ball game or of a half. Here's the snap to White. Pretty big rush. A pass. Out the bounds. The three to 40. Then he bounds to the 50. He's a block to the 40. Burns is down to the 40-yard line. Carter and Dr. Pepper, two original. 
buzzing here at Texas Stadium over Landry's latest trick. It was a 43-yard pass play from Danny White to Betty Barnes off punt formation and from very deep in his own territory. Had that pass not been completed, the Cardinals would have been in excellent scoring shape to go into the halftime with the momentum. But the gamble paid off. Now the Cowboys have just one timeout left. They have 43 seconds left in the half. And a first down at the 29-yard line of St. Louis. And Staubach has him in the shotgun as he comes out. Roger takes the direct snap. Back to throw. Protection is good. Penalty marker down. Now he starts to scramble to his right. Throws the ball away in the direction of Golden Richards at the near sideline. But we had a marker down on the play. It was dropped almost immediately. And it's going to be against the Cardinals. Personal foul. So that'll move the Cowboys inside the 20-yard line. We'll get the official call here in a moment from the referee, Fred Wyatt, as both teams huddled around the official. Now he paces off the yardage down to the 15 to the 14-yard line. First down, and let's see who it was against. It was Mike Dalton, Frank. Personal foul. Head slap, number 76. Defense, first down. Well, happened to the old TCU boy, Charlie Davis. Frank, you know, it's amazing. They, they didn't use to call these near as much as they did now. We've had two already today. It's quite unusual. 37 seconds showing of the clock and a first down for the Cowboys at the 14-yard line of St. Louis. The score is tied at seven. Staubach brings him out of the tee. Back to throw. Roger in the pocket. Starts to run. Fires the pass. Pearson at the 10, 9, 8-yard line. And another flag throw. And a late hit this time on the Cardinals will cross St. Louis half the distance to the goal as Mike sends the ball. Made the stop. Clock stops with 30 seconds to go. Cowboys still with one timeout left. Well, there's a lot of hate between these two teams because that was anyone would have known that would have been a penalty. I think that was Stallings one find that out in a moment. Here's a walk-off from the 8 to the 4-yard line, half the distance to the goal, and the referee, Fred Wyatt, will give us the call. Personal foul, number 67, defense, first down. I am. Barry Stallings, it was. The Cardinals veteran linebacker at his first and goal to go from the 4-yard line. Keep in mind, the Cowboys have one timeout left. 30 seconds showing on the clock. And now Staubach trots over to the far sideline for a word with head coach Tom Landry. Well, the Cowboys have just taken their last time out. So they are flat out of time here in the first half of timeouts. 30 seconds to go on the clock. Frank, I wouldn't be a bit surprised if we didn't see Mr. Staubach running a little bit before the, the halftime begins. A little option, perhaps? A little run-throw option? Well, I don't know. I think uh, Roger, at any chance today, the way he looks, if he doesn't find a receiver open, he sees the slightest hole, I think we're going to see Roger running for the touchdown or towards the touchdown anyway. Of course, without a timeout left now, Bob, you almost have to call something in the direction of the sidelines if it's not a pass play, don't you? Well, I think we've got enough time, though, Frank, for probably one, uh, probably one scamper by Roger and then possibly... Uh, I think more likely you'd have time for one more play. There's no question that they're going to be covering the sidelines pretty hard. All right, Staubach is back on the field and ducks into the huddle. First down, goal to go. Cowboys ball at the Cardinal four-yard line. Staubach has... But it's ruled incomplete. As his arm came down in the forward motion, the ball got away from him, and it's ruled an incompleted forward pass. That had a bunch of hearts stopped here at Texas Stadium. Looked for a moment like he just fumbled it. But the ball just slipped out of his grasp spot. Yeah, he was going to throw it. There's no question about it. He, he threw, he actually was pumping the ball. I think he was probably going to set up a fake. He pumped the ball, and it came out of his hand. Now, that is a clue, Frank, to the effect his little fingers had on him. Uh, I think that it's had a lot more effect on his throwing than, than anyone has been led to believe because I talked to him last week. He did have swelling, and his finger just not working as good as it is. 30 second clock running down to five seconds as the Cowboys come up to the line of scrimmage. 26 seconds left on the game clock. Here's Staubach rolling out to his right, looking. He's going to run for it. He's to the goal line. He is over. And we've got a marker down. A penalty marker is down. As Staubach dove into the end zone. But apparently, 
play the call went against the Cardinals. The way the Cowboy players are reacting. Defensive holding. Decline. The Cowboys score. Well, you call that one, Robert. Well, I think that's Roger's game plan today. You know how he is. He's such a tremendous competitor that if they stop him one way, he's going to do it another, Frank. And you can watch the determination anytime Roger runs today. Well, as you mentioned, Bob, something like this could turn this football game right around. Uh, it looked like the Cowboys were stuck deep in their own territory. They had the, uh, the pass on the fake punt and moved all the way down for the score in the last minute. Herrera hits the extra point here with 20 seconds to go. And the Cardinals will have time for the kickoff to receive the kickoff, and that will about be it. Well, Frank, you know, it, uh, it could have been just off that if the Cardinals had gotten the ball in good field position, driven it down, got either a field goal or a touchdown, uh, going in at halftime, the Cowboys wouldn't have the elation that they're going to have going in right now. The Cardinals now are faced with coming back out, overcoming the seven-point deficit, catching back up. They've got to score twice. So you can see way. them walking off the field, Bob. They look very dejected, don't they? They sure do, because it, it turned right around in front of their eyes. They, they know they've got a good two-minute offense, and yet uh, the Cowboys fooled them. Now we'll get a look at the Cardinals' 22nd offense here in just a moment. Penalty certainly aided on that drive, too. The Cardinals were penalized three times for 25 yards on the drive. 14-7, Dallas with 20 seconds left in the first half. Herrera preparing to kick off. From left to right, again, the Cardinals will go with uh, Terry Metcalf as the deep man, but he's not playing nearly as deep as he would normally. And let's see if Herrera does kick it away, tries to squib kick it here to prevent the long return, which I think would probably be good strategy. Herrera waits the whistle. He has it. Here we go. He booms it down the middle line, drives it, bounces it uh, to a Morris at the 10, up to the 15, 20. Wayne Morris is hit at the 30-yard line. First and 10 for the Cardinals, who will call timeout immediately with 14 seconds left to play in the first half. Officials mark it at the 29-yard line of St. Louis. Well, the Dallas coverage remains excellent, Frank. They're really getting down there on those kickoffs, and they're doing a great job containing them and not letting them get out of pocket. Nose of the football just inside the Cardinal 30-yard line is Jim Hart as his Cardinals in the huddle. 14 seconds left to play. Here they come. Mike Harris breaks to the left side. Pat Tilly to the right. Cardinals minus the services of Mel Gray for most of the game as he was injured on the very first series. Hand off to Steve Jones. Big hole up the middle of the 40 and finally is down at the 45-yard line. Eight seconds left to play. And again, the Cardinals call time. They have one left. And they'll have a first down at their 45-yard line, and the Cowboys will gladly give them another 10 or 15 up the middle in exchange for the eight seconds left on the clock. Well, Frank, I think this coming play, we're probably going to see a pass, because I think uh, otherwise, if we hadn't had the, that kind of run on that play, they, they really had anticipated probably just running a couple of plays going in at halftime. But right now, I think Hart is probably thinking about a 20, 30-yard pass, get set up for a field goal. Uh, we had a rush by the Cowboy line. I think I would have been playing maybe a little bit more toward the run and taking my chances. Cowboys have their prevent defense in there. The Cardinals have called timeout. Now the referee whistles the ball back in play. It'll be first down St. Louis from their 45-yard line. And the scoreboard shows two timeouts, but I believe the Cardinals have just one left. Brings him up to the line of scrimmage. Straight back into the pocket. Cowboy pass rush. Can't get to him. He gets it away. It is down the far sideline intended for Tilly and knocked out of bounds. Incomplete. Betty Barnes and Charlie Waters over there in double coverage. I tell you, Tilly for a rookie is getting quite a baptism, isn't he? He certainly is. He's, he's been throwing just a little bit over him all day, Frank. He's uh, been in position. I imagine what it is is the timing's just a little bit off between Tilly and Hart because Tilly hasn't been in there that much and... Uh, you know, it seems like there's just a, maybe a step or two off in the timing of the of the pair. Whereas Metke, or, uh, Mel Gray, if he were in there, probably wouldn't would be right in the position that Hart expects him to be. That play took seven seconds, so there's just one second showing on the scoreboard clock. Second down, ten. Cardinals at their 45, and the Cowboys just fading back like a bunch of Willie Mays looking for the long bomb. So all they have to prevent here is a 55-yard touchdown. Hart back to throw. 
Sets up strong. Over the middle he goes. He's got Harris at the Dallas 40, and he's tackled and falls forward to the 32 as time runs out. Ending the first half. It's halftime with the score of the Cowboys 14 and the Cardinals 7. Dallas Cowboy football continues in a moment. Play-by-play action of Dallas Cowboy football is being brought to you on KRLD by Chevrolet and Chevrolet dealers who invite you to see and drive the all-new six-passenger car, the new Chevrolet by Sanger Harris. If you don't feel like going out shopping, phone 651-2000. Sanger Harris delivers by Champion Spark Plugs. A fresh set of champions alone can improve your gas mileage and performance. And by Jack in the Box. Take life a little easier at a Jack in the Box family restaurant. And for being our guest, we'd like to present Dwayne Thomas with a gift certificate from Outfitters, men's clothing at North Park. Outfitters, what if we were right for you and you didn't even know it? Cowboys will try to expand on a 14-7 halftime lead. And as the St. Louis Cardinals prepare to kick off in the second half with the play-by-play, -play, Frank Lieber. Thank you very much once again, Brad. I noticed on the near sidelines that Mel Gray is warming up for the Cardinals. He missed most of the first half, except for the first series of downs. The report we got he was shaken up, but that he would be back in the game. So we'll have to see when the Cardinals take the ball on offense, whether or not he does come back. Cardinals will kick off from left to right. Jim Bakken is awaiting the whistle, and he's got it from the referee, Jim Wyatt. Jim Jensen and Butch Johnson are the deep men for the Cowboys. This one comes down to Johnson at the 10, straight up the middle, 15. 20, 25, Johnson looking for an opening. Skips across the 30 and up to the 33-yard line before he's uh, upended by Al Bochamp, number 58, along with Dwayne Crump. So let's see if that great drive the Cowboys mustered right at the end of the first half Gave momentum coming out now for the start of the second half. For those of you who joined us late, the Cowboys tried a fake punt deep in their own territory, and it paid off spectacularly with a 43-yard gain, and they pushed a touchdown in in the final minute of the first half to take the lead 14-7. First and 10, Cowboys at their 33. Once again, Tom Landry starting with the double tight end offense. Golden Richards on the bench. The handoff Laidlaw up the middle, out to the 38-yard line. Cowboys... Lots of problems running the football in that first half, Bob. Well, they certainly have. They're, they're changed up a little bit. This time, though, Frank, it seems like the play that time is more of a <laughs> counter-type play. They faked uh, actually to the left side. They thought we're going to be a play to the left side. They pulled Neely. They influenced the defensive end, and they had some good zone blocking up the middle. Uh, they may come back with a little bit different uh, set this time, Frank. Second down, five. Cowboys at their 38-yard line. Opening moment. Of the second half of play, Dallas leading 14 to 7 here in the big one. Preston Pearson to the left side after the 45, 50, and in the Cardinal territory to the 47 yard line. First down for the Cowboys. That's the longest individual gain from scrimmage on a rushing play for the Cowboys this afternoon. 20 yards. Tackle made by Ken Reeves and Mike Sensiball. Well, there again, we had a, a straight ahead type play. Uh, it was a little bit of a counter. He actually started to his right and broke back in, and it was just plain zone blocking. Uh, he had a very nice hole in. He made a good cut. And, uh, of course, he's a very fine runner down an open field, Frank. First and ten for the Dallas Cowboys at the St. Louis Cardinal 47-yard line. Roger Staubach starting him out of the ground here in the second half. And with fine success, handoff Laidlaw. Left side, inside the 45, down to the 42-yard line. That's another five yards. Larry Stallings and Mark Arneson combining on the tackle. Well, that was a good play from the Cowboys' standpoint. It was also a change from the first half, and they may have set their game plan up this way, Frank. That play was everybody was pulling to our offensive right. The play looked as though it was going to be an end run and the back uh, had planned to roll back. He did. He rolled back against the pursuit of the defense and made a very fine play out of it. Second down five for the Cowboys at the St. Louis Cardinal 42-yard line. Staubach, straight hand off Laidlaw up over the middle, dives inside the 40 to the 38-yard line needed to net the 37 for the first down, so he'll be close depending on where they spot it. Well, the Cowboy offensive line that time, Frank, were very low. Uh, that's the lowest they've been charging all day. And uh, even though it was a short yardage play, uh, they're getting down and they're firing off a lot better. Short yardage specialist Doug Dennison checks into the huddle for Preston Pearson. And in the past, that's almost been a dead giveaway that the Cowboys would give the ball to Dennison and just dare the Cardinals to stop them. Third down and a yard. Cowboys at the Cardinal 38-yard line. Preston Pearson. 
coming out of the game. The handoff instead to Laidlaw, fighting for the first down. He'll be close. Looked like he has it at the 36-yard line, and then was shoved way back almost to the 40. First down, no measurement necessary for the Cowboys at the 36-yard line. I tell you, it'd be some, uh, some kind of thing here if the Cowboys came out of the second half and just ran it right down the field and scored. That's the type of thing that could break a team's back. Well, it sure would, Frank, and the attitude of the team looks much different than it did than right after opening kickoff. The Cowboys are coming out here. They're taking command. They're really blocking hard, and they're, they're, they've got their heads down. They're going after them. And I think maybe they do have that momentum. Richards back in the ball game. He split wide to the left side. Drew Pearson flanked to the right. First down from the 36. Fake into the middle. Staubach back to throw. Excellent protection for Preston Pearson. Intercepted by Worley at the 20. And he carries it back to the 27-yard line. And Staubach unhappy with himself because that ball just kind of hung in the air for a moment. And Worley stepped in front of Preston Pearson to make his second interception of the afternoon. Roger had great protection on that, Frank. He just, uh, I think, threw it in the middle of too many players. I imagine that Roger would love to have been able to throw a pass over. There's a timeout of the field with the score. Cowboys 14, Cardinals 7. Dallas Cowboy football continues in a moment. Cardinals first and 10 at their 27. Handoff, Otis. Big hole, football. Loose football at the 45-yard line. And who's got it? The Cardinals recover the fumble at the 48-yard line. A golden opportunity for Dallas as Otis fumbled that ball after a big hole open at the 40-yard line. Fumbled it forward five or seven yards. And St. Louis wind up recovering the ball. Looks like Mel Gray in the bottom of that pile. He's back in the lineup for the Cardinals, and they've got a first down at their 48. Gray just did beat Benny Barnes of the Cowboys to the football as we saw the replay on our Magnavox monitor. Big hole open up that time up the middle. Back to throw goes Jim Hardy. He winds up. He drills it over the middle. Incomplete intended for Gray at the 30-yard line. And Cliff Harris sticks Gray pretty good. And they come up and have a few words. It was Gray and Harris who had the confrontation in St. Louis earlier this year with Mel spiking the ball after scoring a couple of touchdowns in front of Cliff. Pass was just underthrown. And incomplete at the 35-yard line of Dallas. It'll be second and 10 for the Cardinals at their 48. Here's Steve Jones coming into the lineup, replacing Jim Otis at running back. 11 minutes, 3 seconds left to play in the third period. Cowboys took the kickoff and drove down to the 35-yard line. Entirely on the ground, first pass that Staubach threw, and the second half was intercepted. Now it's the Cardinals' turn. Second and 10. Up to the line of scrimmage. Here's Hart. Faking the pass, hands off to Metcalf. Big hole over the middle, and Metcalf is inside the 50 to the 43-yard line of the Cowboys, and he'll be close for the first down. Leroy Jordan and Bob Brunig making the stop. That's very close for a first down. Let's see if it's close enough to measure. Not quite. Third down, let's call it a yard. Frank, that's a very, very dangerous play for a, a defense. They, they're all probably trying to rush the passer, and uh, if one man, if one a defensive tackle takes off after the passer, uh, then it leaves the hole open because the linebacker has to drop back on that play. Third down and a yard for the Cardinals. From the Dallas 42-yard line. Two tight ends in there. Straight hand off to Jones. He plows forward to the 40-yard line. He's got the first down. St. Louis, first and 10 at the 40-yard line of the Dallas Cowboys. Frank are really working on the middle of the Cowboy line. I don't know exactly what defense the Cowboys are using. They're running off the flex look, but it looks as though one of the tackles has been called on a, an inside play, and Leroy is filling that hole. Uh, what's happening right now is they're driving either Jethro or Bill on by the hole, and that's what's causing or creating the hole up the middle. These two teams have played it tight here in Dallas last two years. Cowboys just winning last year in overtime, year before in a last-minute field goal. First and ten from the Cowboy 40. Hart back to throw. Throws it long, intended for Mel Gray at the goal line. Betty Barnes back there with him. Incomplete. Well covered by Benny Barnes. Well, that was super, a super play by Benny Barnes. We had a, a very, very fine pass rush at that time to Harvey Martin. I think Harvey put just a little bit too much pressure on him. And, of course, Benny got behind uh, Mel Gray. He got in front of him, rather, and uh, never really let him have his, have his sprint or have his speed down to the goal line. Kept him there all the way. Second and ten. Cardinals continue their strategy of throwing on first down against the Cowboys. They're at the Dallas 40-yard line, trailing by seven with 9.38 left to play in the third period. Ike Harris splits out to the left side. Gray comes out of the ballgame for a breather after that long run. 
and is replaced by rookie Pat Tilly as the flanker. He's off to the left side. Here's Hart on second and ten again, back into the pocket. Floyd rushes on, gets it away to Jones at the 40. Jones tight roping it down to the 35 to the 34 yard line. Good run by Steve Jones, who waited for his interference to form, and then just picked his way through the Cowboy defenders for six, maybe seven yards in the play, which will set up a third down three for the Cardinals at the Dallas 34. There again, Frank, to get into that second long situation, most of our linemen were rushing the quarterback. It is a good call by Hart, and of course, the Cardinals have always been noted as having a, an extremely fine uh, uh, draw and, and screen team, and uh, that time they did. I think we had a little bit of fifth cup there by Jethro and Dobler. Third down, let's call it four for the first down for the Cardinals at the Dallas 34-yard line. Just a little bit out of field goal range here, so big play. Here's Hart back to throw. Cowboy blitzes on. The pass is incomplete as Tilly, the intended receiver, slipped and fell at the 25-yard line. Benny Barnes was back there covering him, but Tilly was flat on his back when the ball came whistling by his ear. So the Cardinal putting unit comes on. This is, we mentioned, just a little bit outside of the field goal range of Jim Bucket. Fourth down. And Joyce in a position here to angle it for the coffin corner, and he's positioning himself like he's going to boot it for the near side coffin corner as he stands at the 50, awaiting the snap from center. Butch Johnson, Cowboys safety on about the 15-yard line. So the Cardinals look like they're going to play it for field position. Low snap from center. Good rush by the Cowboys, angling for the near sideline. The ball gets on the five and goes into the end zone, blocked back out, and goes back into the end zone. Touchback. That was great effort on the Cardinals' part, Frank. They were down there trying to get the ball back on the one-yard line, which would have made it very difficult for the Cowboys, but now we've got it on the 20. There's a timeout on the field with a score, Dallas 14, St. Louis 7. Dallas Cowboys football continues in a moment. Here's a message for business people. Your Southwestern Bell account executive is a trained consultant who can show you how better communications can lead to better profits. He can also tell you ways to get more value from your communications dollar, even with your existing telephone system. Whatever your communication needs, call your Southwestern Bell account executive. We talk business. You are a business. Southwestern Bell. How would you like to go to Super Bowl XI? At Orion Nagavok, it's touch tune food sticks with prizes totaling over $1 million. Come into Orion Nagavok. Ask for a demonstration of a new TouchTune television, and you'll receive free an official sweepstakes entry card for instant savings and prizes. You could win an expense paid trip for two to Super Bowl XI in Los Angeles, California. Everyone's a winner at Orion Magnavox. Come in and enter now. Catch your star at Orion at Redbird Mall. First and ten, Cowboys. Dalbach pitches to Preston Pierce and tries the right side, crosses the 25 and is out to the 26-yard line. Pick up at six yards in the play. It'll be second down four for Dallas. The Cowboys continue to run well here at the start of the second half. Ken Reeves and Mark Arneson making the stop. You and I are discussing, wondering why Roger put that ball in the air a while back because they had moved half the length of the field, Bob, on the ground a moment ago on their last drive. Well, it was kind of surprising. Well, I think that they probably figured they'd have the Cardinals playing a lot tougher against the run, Frank. Second and four. Cowboys ready to go. Staubach, straight handoff. Pearson slides to his left, drives forward, reaches the 28, possibly close to the 29. So it'll be third down in about a yard and a half as Mike Dawson, the Cardinals' right defensive tackle, comes up to make the stop. Cowboys leading rushers in the ball game. Preston Pearson is 44 yards. Staubach has 35 yards. He's the second leading rusher for Dallas, including one touchdown. Jones is the St. Louis leading rusher with 39 yards. Otis has 33. Third down, little more than a yard for the first down. Cowboys at their 29, trying to keep this drive going. Again, they have two tight ends in there. They split Drew Pearson out to the left side, rest of the tee in tight. Staubach rolling to his right, passes to Laidlaw for the first down. He goes out of bounds in front of the Cowboy bench at the 35. Little pass run option there. Sure was, and that's a good call, Frank, because Rogers, uh, an outstanding runner, he can throw well going to his right, and uh, they've got to keep a man back. They've got to keep both the corner back, back deep on the, the wide receiver, and then they've got to keep the linebacker back on the 
fullback coming out of the backfield. So what uh, Roger had an option then. I'm sure there was an option play where he could have run or he could have thrown it. And uh, the easiest thing on that to do was to throw it for the first down. First and ten. Cowboys from their 35-yard line. Just over seven minutes left to play in the third period. Staubach pitches to Preston Pearson. He goes to the left, cuts back to the right. He's at the 35, up to the 37-yard line. Ladder running to pick up two, maybe three yards in the play. Mike Dawson makes the stop. Pearson very good at uh, sensing when the hole is closed and then reversing his field, going back the other way and turning what looked like a loss or no gain into a pickup of almost three yards. Second down, seven. Frank, that, uh, that time it was very obvious that Preston wasn't going to be able to outrun the pursuit, and Preston, I think, knows his limitations. He's not a real fast back, and his main asset is the fact that he's kind of slippery downfield, and I don't think we had the blocking on that play to spring him free as we have in the past. Second and seven, Cowboys from their 37-yard line. Late law and Pearson to setbacks. Here's Roger Staubach faking to Pearson, back to throw. Good fake, excellent protection. He's going long for Golden Richards and overthrows him at the 20-yard line. Golden was flying down there. Roger overthrew him by about five yards. Roger Rowley was back there trailing Richards, but it looked like Golden might have had a step on him. Excellent fake, though, and excellent protection, Bob. Well, it was an excellent fake. That's, uh, of course, that run type passing, you know, where they, they fake a run and pass, and the, the offensive line for the Cowboys did a great job on that play. I am surprised, though, Frank, uh, today. That's the second time that we've seen Golden go for a bomb, and... Uh, of course, we didn't think when Golden when he came into the game today that Golden was going to be able to, you know, go all out. But uh, Rogers gone to him twice now on the, on the long pass. Third down, seven. Cowboys need the first down to keep it going. They line up in the shotgun as they come out from their own 37-yard line. Here's Roger back to throw it. Pressure is on. Gets the pass away for Dupree. He pulls it down for the first down at the Cardinal 45-yard line. First and ten, Cowboys. Glad to see the shotgun is uh, performing as well right now as it has been in the last few plays that Rogers run it because in the last two or three ball games it hasn't been functioning too well. They've had a lot of blitzes. The Cowboys seem to have learned how to contend with them, and uh, they had great protection then. Roger had plenty of time and threw a perfect pass. And Dupree, we might add, made a great catch in heavy traffic as he was surrounded by red shirts. So the drive continues now from the Cardinal 45, first and 10. Just under six minutes left to play in the third period. We have not had a score in the second half. Hand off to Laidlaw. Scott finds a little bit of running room over the left side, but not much daylight as he advances it to the 43-yard line. Pickup of two. And Mike Dawson, the Cardinals' fine rookie defensive tackle, who's been on a ton of tackles this afternoon, makes the stop. Uh, seemed like the Cowboys' strategy going into the, the game today was to run to their left side, and they haven't had much success all day at that, although... Right after the half, they've had uh, quite a bit of success running to their right. And uh, I kind of think maybe that that's what we're going to see. I think probably going into the fourth quarter, Frank, we're going to see a lot more running to our right side offensively. Second down, a little over eight for the first down. Cowboys from the 43-yard line of St. Louis. Staubach back to throw. Protection is good. Gets the pass away. Hits the three at the 40. Billy Joe dragged out of bounds after picking up just two, maybe three yards in the play. Let's pause 15 seconds for station identification. This is the Dallas Cowboys Radio Network. Mr. Contractor, got a tough job? Get the tough one from Skill. Worm Drive 77 Skill Saw. The Lumber Metal Concrete Saw. Call Moody Day Company 631-6460. The voice of the Cowboys. This is KRLD Dallas. Third down and still almost seven yards needed for the first down for the Cowboys at the Cardinal 41-yard line. So for the second time, Staubach is confronted with a third down and long situation. He made the drive go a moment ago with the pass to Dupree. Once again from the shotgun, Roger takes the direct snap from center. The blitz is on. He steps forward into the pocket over the middle. This time is Pearson at the 27-yard line. First down as Drew Pearson pulls down the pass. Norm Thompson making the tackle. They've been double teaming through most of the afternoon, so he hasn't had much business. That's his third catch for 12 yards. Well, it certainly was. That was a great uh, route by Drew. He had two men on him, as you noted. Uh, he has had most of the day, but there again, the Cowboy offensive line and uh, the one remaining back there and their protecting Roger were able to pick up the blitz of the Cardinals, and once they shut that off, Roger seems to have all day, and when he does, he's very, very dangerous. Officials mark it at the Cardinal 25-yard line. First and 10 for the Cowboys. Staubach hands to Laidlaw up the middle to the 20. Laidlaw is down to the 17-yard line. Eight yards. Larry Stallings makes the stop. Well, on that play, Frank, they did go to the right side. Uh, 
Fitzgerald had a very good block over center, cutting the tackle off. Herb Scott was going through, and uh, he made the seal on the outside linebacker, which allowed uh, Scott Laidlaw to, to burst on through there. And there really wasn't anybody that had a firm hand on him until he'd gone around five or six yards. Officials mark it at the 18-yard line. Let's call it second down and just under three. Needed for the first down. Cowboys moving deep in Cardinal territory now. Staubach hands to Preston Pearson. Flag is down as Pearson drives inside the 15 to the 14-yard line. We get a preliminary call of holding against Dallas. Boy, of all the times. Frank, this is, uh, of course, the area that you can't afford it, but the Cardinals did the same thing earlier in the game, uh, just before the half. As a matter of fact, they got two penalties right down on the goal line, and it killed them. Of course, the Cowboys here, they've come uh, two consecutive drives this far, Frank, and uh, I hate to see them thwarted on the second one because sometimes it does take steam out of you after you've missed two. Holding number 62 offense. Allen goes against the center, John Fitzgerald, and the ball has moved back to the 23-yard line. Three minutes, 44 seconds left to play in the third period. It'll be second down, 13 for the Cowboys at the 20, make it the 28-yard line of St. Louis. Second and 13 from the Cardinal 28. Staubach back into the pocket to throw. The blitz is on. He gets the screen away to lay law, but he is caught behind the line of scrimmage. Then back behind the line by Mark Arneson, who filtered through the screen of blockers and dropped him for a loss back around the 35-yard line. Well, Mark read that very well. Mark's fine young linebacker, and he, of course, read the play very well. It's Sort of like running one against D.D. Lewis. D.D. can hardly run a screen on. He recognizes he's got too much experience. Uh, they had to play well set up. It hadn't been for him, looks like. Well, now it's a question of getting close enough to give Efren Herrera the shot at the field goal. Third down, and the Cowboys need 17 with the ball spotted at the 33-yard line of the St. Louis Cardinals. Butch Johnson comes in at wide receiver. He's wide to the left side. Drew Pearson is split to the right. Staubach has him in the shotgun. He's converted two key third down situations in this drive on long yardage. Straight snap. Back to throw. Not much of a rush this time. Roger waiting. Waiting. Finally delivers. Pearson can't hold it. But it's caught by a cowboy. However, Johnson pulling it down. It's a double touch. And the pass will be ruled incomplete because a Cardinal did not touch the ball in between. He had Drew Pearson wide open at the 15-yard line. Threw it high. Pearson got his fingertips on the ball. It cascaded away and was touched, caught next by Butch Johnson. The defensive man did not touch it in between, so that is an incompleted forward pass. Mike, that's a lot better, I suppose, than an interception because it looked like it surely would have been. There were three, three Cardinals behind Butch Johnson, and the pass was slightly overthrown. Drew has been known to catch those kind, but it was, uh, it was a very difficult catch. So the ball comes back to the line of scrimmage, the 33-yard line. It is now fourth down, and Danny White is in to do the punting. And I think they'll be looking for the pass this time. Well, there's no doubt about it, Frank. White uh, looks like he'll be angling toward one of the coffin corners. Mary, uh, Terry Metcalf standing in the center of the field on the five-yard line, just in case. Danny standing back at the 48, awaiting the snap. Good snap. And White kicking for the far sideline, trying to put it out of bounds. It is... Into the end zone. Touchback. Henderson tried to save it from going into the end zone for the Cowboys, but couldn't. And the Cardinals will bring it out to the 20-yard line. There's a tie out of the field with the score. Cowboys 14, Cardinals 7. Dallas Cowboys football continues in a moment. suggested retail price, including dealer preparation, taxes, license, destination charge, and available equipment additional. Chevette is rated at 43 miles per gallon highway, 31 miles per gallon city, with available 1.6 liter engine and manual transmission. EPA estimates, actual mileage may vary. No American car has ever sported EPA mileage ratings like these before. Sham at 
Texas Stadium. Cardinals have the ball, first and 10 at their 20-yard line. Cowboys with a couple of golden scoring opportunities here in the third period and couldn't capitalize on them. So it's still 14-7. to Hart back to throw. Near sideline toss to Mel Gray. He is hustled out of bounds as he pulls it in at the 25. Pick up a five on the play as Benny Barnes makes the stop. Second down, five. Mark, that uh, we're, we're, we're really seeing a team take advantage of the one weakness I think the power of the Cowboy defense has, and that's the fact that they are in their flex defense on first down. Uh, sometimes they give you a change-up, but most of the day they've been in it, and it's awful hard to get a pass rush, you know, when you're really playing the run as hard as they are. And they've been throwing consistently on first down of the Cardinals. Second down, five. St. Louis from its 25-yard line. Seven points is nothing, of course, for this Cardinal team to make up, so this is still a long way from being over. Here's Metcalf across the right side. Skips over a tackler. Fumbles the football at the 32-yard line, but again, the Cardinals alertly pounce on the fumble. Cliff Harris really cut the feet out from underneath Mr. Terry Metcalf, and the fumble recovery was made by offensive tackle Roger Finney. So the Cardinals have it at the 32, and that's enough for a first down. Now, there's another opportunity the Cowboys couldn't capture. Remember the fumble near midfield a few moments ago that Cardinals recovered? The Cardinals have two turnovers on the Cowboys, both pass interceptions, off Roger Staubach. First and ten, officials mark the ball at the St. Louis 33-yard line as Jim Hart brings him up to the line of scrimmage. Starts to call the signals, hands off to Wayne Morris, who's in the ball game over the right side, and Morris is down at the 38-yard line. Good, hard, solid tackle by Harvey Martin. And too tall Jones, but not before he picked up a good six on the play. Well, Frank, I'll tell you what's happening right now. Uh, both, both plays, this, the same thing has happened. Uh, Deardorff has gotten position on Ed Jones, and Ed has actually lined up outside of Deardorff, but he's, a, he's able to take advantage of knowing the snap. He's getting outside of Ed, cutting him off, and that's cutting off the pursuit and opening the hole, allowing the back to cut up Bill a lot sooner than normal. Second down, four. Cardinals at their 39-yard line. Hart, 11 out of 24. Turns around, hands off. Metcalf caught behind the line. This time by Wally Jethro Pugh. Loss of the play to the 38-yard line. That'll put the Cardinals in a third down and a long five needed for the first. So that was a super play by Jethro. I think there they, they thought Jethro was going to go outside. He was in the outside stance that we normally say. Leroy must have given him the call, which we call a little call. Uh, he went inside, and uh, the guard anticipated him going outside, and Jethro was never touched by the offensive guard. It was Conrad Dobler, the man he beat. Third down, five. Big play for the Cardinals and the Cowboys. St. Louis moving from its own 38-yard line, trying to keep the drive going. Hart blitz is on. Back into the pocket. Pass blocked up in the air. St. Louis Cardinal 30-yard line. Golden opportunity provided by the defense. Staubach hands off to Preston Pearson. Tries the left side. He's caught behind the line. And tripped up at the 31-yard line by the right end. John Sook. Frank, I really don't get the reasoning in this play. Uh, Preston just really doesn't have the speed unless you cut down two or three of the guys. He just doesn't have the speed to make the turn on the outside there. And they continue to run him on that same play. The gun sounds, and that's the end of the third quarter with the score of the Cowboys 14. The Cardinals 7. Dallas Cowboy football continues in a moment. Frank Lilly, uh, Frank Lieber along with, I'm getting excited. Frank Lieber along with Bob Lilly and Brad Sham at Texas Stadium as we head into the final quarter of play. I'm getting wrapped up in this football game, Robert. Well, I think you are. I mean, when you forget what your name is, you're really in trouble, right? <laughs> we might have to go suit up in a minute. I <laughs> Well, you recall on the last play of the third quarter, Pearson lost about a yard and a half on a sweep around the left side. So the Cowboys moving from left to right now in this final period of play will have the football with a second down and just over 11 yards needed for the first down at the St. Louis Cardinal 31-yard line. 
final 15 minutes. Coming up to Texas Stadium with the NFC. Eastern Division lead on the line and possibly the Eastern Division Championship. Cowboys win this one. There'll be two full games in front of the Cardinals with two games to go. I tell you, there are not many no-shows here today, unlike the Monday night game where we had almost 15,000. Mild day in Dallas. Cloudy. We've had the occasional drizzle, mist falling. Doesn't seem to be any right now. Here we go. Back to work. Cowboys up to the line of scrimmage. Starbuck has Dupree. Flank wide to the right side. He's got Drew Pearson split to the left and Golden Richards in the slot. Preston Pearson and Scott Laidlaw the setbacks. The handoff, Laidlaw, 30, 25, 24 yard line. Goes Laidlaw. A pickup of seven. On the delay up the middle, Bob Bell, the left end defensively for the St. Louis Cardinals, made the stop. That will set up third down for the Cowboys, and they'll need just over four yards for the first down. Well, it was a very fine play, Frank. Of course, they caught the Cardinals a little off guard. They were their two tackles both both rushed outside, and uh, of course, all he had to do was knock the middle linebacker off a little bit, and we had a, a pretty good shot there for five or six yards. Another big play, third down and four for the Cowboys with the nose of the football just inside the Cardinal 25-yard line. Drew Pearson split left, Roger Staubach back to throw, sideline toss over the head of Pearson. Staubach let it get away from him, and Pearson never really had a chance on it as the ball really took off, and the Cowboys are put in a long field goal situation. Now, Herrera has kicked once before from 41 yards out and kicked it rather badly and off to the left. It come near to being close. So this attempt, with the ball at the 25, will be from the 32-yard line, which will make it a 42-yard field goal attempt for Herrera. And boy, the Cowboys need some points. This is the third time that they have been fairly deep in the Cardinal territory, and they've yet to come up with a single point here in the second half. They're ready. Rafferty will center. Waters waits. Puts it down. The kick is up. It is long and off. It is good. away. And the Cowboys up their lead to 17-7. There's a momentary break in the action, so let's pause for this. You're listening to Dallas Cowboys football. side here in the second half. Third quarter completely scoreless. I'll tell you one thing, I'm pretty impressed with this Cardinal defensive team, Bob. It's been much maligned. I know they lost five starters this year due to injuries and they've hung in there very nicely against the Cowboys. Well, they sure have. I think that uh, course is overall because of the head coach. Uh, Corey Hill's done an outstanding job since he took over the reins as Cardinal head coach and uh, their defense has really been decimated by injuries, but they have hung in there. They've been a little weak versus the run, but yet they don't give up that many points, Frank, which means that they get tougher as you go down field on them. Terry Metcalf is the defense standing at the three-yard line as Herrera prepares to kick off. He's ready, and here we go. Herrera with a spinner, which bounces at the 11-yard line, fielded by Jackie Smith, the tight end up the middle, 25, 30, crosses the 35, and reaches the 37-yard line. Pretty good run back by the big veteran tight end, Jackie Smith, before Aaron Kyle. Finally made the stop for the Cowboys. It'll be first and ten Cardinals at their 37. You know, Frank, Jackie Smith is uh, almost my age, and I imagine he's still one of the fastest guys on the field. He was always one of the faster Cardinals, and uh, I understand he hadn't lost much of it. He's been poisoned to the Cowboys down through the years for many, many seasons. Mel Gray splits off wide to the left side. Mark Washington out to pick him up. Crowd exhorting the Cowboy defense to hold him here. Here's Hart dropping back into the pocket. The rush is on. He gets it away. It is dropped by Mel Gray at the 45. We get a penalty marker thrown. Mark Washington was back there with him. Gray tried to turn around and make the catch at his shoe tops. And there's a pass interference call upcoming. Let's see who it's against. It'll be against Gray for pushing off. They're coming back to the line of scrimmage, or will it be? 
going on between Gray out there and also Mark Washington. Now we get a preliminary call of uh, holding. Yes, I think it'll be holding rather than the pass interference call. But it'll be defensive holding against the Cowboys, which obviously doesn't hurt them nearly as bad as the pass interference call. Holding, number 46, defense, first down. So Mark Washington called for holding Mel Gray. That's a five-yard walk-off, which moves the ball out to the Cardinal 42-yard line. It'll be first down and five. Frank Bell and Mark, I think I'd have been doing the same thing on that particular pattern. All right. First down. Back to throw. Hype. Looking downfield. This one is intercepted by Benny Barnes at the middle. 30, 35, 40. Near sideline to the 50 and knocked out of bounds at the 45 yard line by Tom Banks. The Cardinal center, but Barnes holds that ball high like a trophy. And that time, the intended receiver slipped and fell, and Barnes had a clear shot on it. Now, that's a case where the Cardinals throw that pass so much on timing, Bob, that he releases the ball before the defender turns. Well, that was a super play for the Cowboys. Yeah, he released the ball before he ever saw him make his break, Frank. There's a timeout of the field with the score. The Cowboys 17, the Cardinals 7. Dallas Cowboys football continues in a moment. <laughs> second and nine. Mike Dawson made the stop. Attendance today, 62,498 in-house and 2,422 no-shows. Second down, nine. Nose of the football just inside. The Cowboy out of the Cardinal, 45-yard line. Butch Johnson replacing Golden Richards. Here's a handoff to House over the left side. Escapes the tackle. Holds inside the 40 to the 37-yard line. Just a yard away from the first down as Mike Sensabaugh makes the stop, coming up with his safety position for the St. Louis Cardinals. Well, Frank, the, the quick time plays have seemed to work a lot better today, and that, all that was was actually a, a straight handoff. He angled over to his left side of his offensive line, right off guard there between the guard and tackle. Of course, uh, the entire left side of the Cowboy line did a great job. They just they just shield blocked the defense, and uh, Newhouse had a hole and took off. 30-second clock running down to five seconds as the Cowboys come up to the line of scrimmage. Staubach calls the signals. Third down in a yard. He just does get it off. Yeah, or does he? No, he did not get it off. The 30-second clock ran out. Delay of game. Five yards against Dallas. And that's a costly one. Instead of third and one, it'll be third down six. Mark, a lot of that is the fact that they're alternating guards. They're sending a guard in with another play and... Uh, He's just not getting in there quick enough. Or, or back, whoever's alternating right now, bringing in the plays, they're not getting them in quick enough. And uh, Roger really can't call the play until he gets Delay. it. He's waiting on the, the ball for That moves the ball back to the 41-yard line of the St. Louis Cardinals. Third down now and a long six. Staubach is 10 out of 20 for 83 yards, one touchdown, two interceptions. He has not been sacked so far this afternoon. Cowboys would love to play ball control here. 12 minutes, 29 seconds left to play. They lead 
17 to 7. Third down, six at the Cardinal, 42 yard line. Here we go. Staubach straight back into the pocket to throw it from out of the tee, and he is going long downfield, intended for through Pearson. Pearson trying to get the ball, can't do it at the goal line. Good defensive play by Norm Thompson as Pearson seemed to have a step on him, and, Pe and Thompson simply uh, slipped his arm underneath Drew and brought it up and knocked the ball away. Fourth down, so the Cowboys get nothing out of that particular turnover. Now, that was a very important turnover. I think that might have really given the Cowboys the enthusiasm and impetus to uh, go ahead and take this ball game. But right now, uh, they're going to have to fight. Uh, we don't know what, what the Cardinals are going to do. We only know what they're capable of, Frank. Again, you'll see Danny White, I'm sure, heading for the coffin corner. Metcalf is standing back on the five-yard line, awaiting the punt. Still lots of time for anything to happen. Not much of a rush by the Cardinals. This time, end over end down the far sideline. Henderson feels the ball inside the five and downs it at that point. Thomas Henderson feels that ball on one bounce. Going in at the five-yard line and then just flipped it behind him as if he had just scored a touchdown. Frank, I'll tell you one thing about Thomas. He thinks extremely fast because he only had a millionth of a second to throw that ball out of bounds before he hit the end zone. There's a timeout of the field to score the Cowboys 17, the Cardinals 7. Dallas Cowboys football continues in a moment. Here's Rusty Weir and the fabulous Miller Brothers. got the Cardinals where they want them, and now it'll be a great time for a turnover. Well, no doubt about it, Frank, and I've noticed one uh, change in the defense here. Uh, I think for all those who are listening, we can tell them that the Cowboy offensive line and the linebackers are doing a lot of shifting right now. They haven't done this uh, throughout the entire game. Now, when the Cardinals get up there, they wait till Hart makes his call, and they start shifting around to, to confuse them a little bit. Second down, nine. Cardinals way deep in their own territory, back up to their five-yard line. Jim Hart, straight handoff, gets to Otis, another yard, out to the six. This time over the left side before he's upended by Bob Brunick. And it'll be third down, eight. And now if the Cardinals don't come up with a first down, they'll be punting from out of their end zone. Well, we had a very fine uh, defense by the right side of the Cowboy defensive line that time, and also Bob Brunick, they, uh, they held in there real well. The Cowboys are really changing up their defense a lot, Frank, and also they seem to have a lot more enthusiasm right now than they've had in the past two or three ball games. Third down eight. Here come the Cardinals. Cowboys go on to their pre bat defense. St. Louis moving from its own six-yard line. Deep in the hole. Hart drops back to the end zone to throw it. He sets up strong. Looks it deep for J.B. Kane. He's out there, but can't hold it at the 50-yard line. Hart overthrown at the 50. He was five yards behind Cliff Harris. What a break for the Cowboys. Well, we had a lot of stunning going on, Frank, by our defensive lineman, and I, I believe that uh, Harvey Martin was probably the man responsible for the pass being just a little bit overthrown. He had a good rush in there, good penetration, got his arms up, and uh, I, I would believe that he probably got in Hart's eye, eyesight a little bit, line of vision. That would have been a touchdown, a 94-yard touchdown for the Cardinals. Had Kane been able to hang out of the football. Fourth down now for the six-yard line, eight to go. Joyce is backed up nine yards deep in his end zone to punt. Ten men up on the line of scrimmage for the Cowboys. Snap is a little high. Big rush. They block it. They block it out of the end zone. No safety. It was Henderson. It was the first play of the The block. Joyce is put out of the end zone. No safety. Well, that was a super rush back up the middle by Randy Glatt and Thomas Henderson. They just took three guys with them. Went on in there. Blocked the top. The kicker and all. In fact, they took three or four guys into the kicker with them. 
there was no question about that. It wasn't even close. Joyce never had a shot at it. As we look at it now on the Magnavox monitor, he was simply smothered. The snap was a little bit high, and by the time he took one step, the Cowboys were all over him. And that ball just ricocheted out of the end zone. Thomas Henderson was the first to hit him, crashing across his right knee, and the ball just rolled it out of the end zone for the safety, so the Cowboys get two points to make it 19-7, to and they'll also get the ball as the Cardinals will put it in play on the free kick from their 20-yard line. You know, Frank, one thing we've seen today, and I think it's uh, very unusual for a Cowboy team, we've seen two plays that you would have never figured the Cowboys would have done. Uh, that particular play and the one uh, where, they, where Danny White uh, threw the pass on fourth down. And I think these are two things. This may show a little bit of insight in Tom Landry's thinking that he had to have a little bit of action, a little bit of excitement for his players. I think he'll probably tell you after this football game that at the end of the first half, he probably felt he needed something to ignite his football team because they were playing sluggish. And I think that uh, that fake punt and pass was fourth down, which led to the Cowboy touchdown just before the half probably was the thing that turned the ball game around. Ten minutes, 48 seconds left to play. Cardinals still not out of it because they're a very explosive team. And two touchdowns in this period of time. Not that tough for this ball club. Here's Joyce ready to punt it on the free kick from the 20-yard line from right to left. Butch Johnson waits back at the 20. Over the head catch at the 16. Up the middle. 25, 30. Johnson, 35, 40. Down at the 45-yard line. A good return, and Henderson is shaken up on the play. Henderson getting up slowly for the Cowboys as he was really belted. He made a great block. Uh, just one of those things. He probably caught a knee in the face. That happens an awful lot when you're hard blocking on a kicking team. You have to catch a guy going full speed, and normally it is a knee to the face to get you. Frank, this, this game has really turned around. The Cowboys now seem to be fired up. And last week we noticed that, the, you know, in the fourth quarter they just seemed to fold up. So it's quite a contrast to the game they played last week in the fourth quarter. Starbuck, 10 out of 21 for 83 yards as he brings him up to the line of scrimmage. First and 10 from his own 45. Hand off Preston Pearson. Gets a yard up the middle. And the hole closes rather quickly by the St. Louis Cardinals. Mike Dawson, number 73, has played a great game in the defensive line for St. Louis. Making the stop. The clock continues to roll with 10 minutes and 20 seconds left to play in the football game. Dallas leading 19-7. We have, we have sort of a cross cut play then, Frank, where they sent one back to the left offensively and Preston up the middle. But these plays seem to be a little bit slow. They're not, they haven't worked all day. Pearson and Robert Newhouse are the setbacks in the eye. Now they go to the regular split in the backfield. On second down nine, Newhouse tries the left side, reaches the 47. Maybe two yards on that play. It'll be third down seven. And Tom Landry's going to have to... Uh, Probably put the ball in the air here, being a little bit conservative once again. Try to pick up some yardage on the ground. Well, they tried their uh, one of their best plays in that, that that last play. It was the uh, play that goes over the left side of the line. Uh, given the new house the time before that he carried the ball on that particular play, he made about eight or nine yards. That time uh, we just couldn't move him out of there, Frank. Butch Johnson wide to the left side. Pearson is split to the right. Dupree in the slot off to the right in the shotgun as the Cowboys bring it up. Third down seven. Direct snap to Stolbach. Good protection. Steps up into the pocket. Now he's rushed out of it. Rolls to his right. Still looking downfield. Still looking. Now he's going to run it. He's out to the 50-yard line. Tries to pick up the first down and is stopped just short. I believe at the Cardinal 46-yard line. And Roger took a pretty good pop right in front of the Cardinal bench. Immediately beneath us by Mike Sensabaugh. He gets up immediately, takes a look at the first down marker, and finds that he is one yard short. Well, there's one thing about Roger coming in this game we weren't wrong about, Frank, and that's the fact that if he doesn't have someone open, he's going to run it. He's back to his old self of uh, two or three years ago now. Cowboys will play it safe here and go for the pot on fourth down and one at the Cardinal 46. Clock moving with eight minutes and 30 seconds left to play. One big plus for the Cowboys. They have been kicking the ball away from Terry Metcalf, and Metcalf has not had anywhere near as spectacular a day as he's had in the past. Danny White awaits the snap. It is good. Cardinals peel back for return. Nice high punt. Deep toward the far sideline. Metcalf feels it at the three-yard line. Coming out of it. He's coming to the near sideline to the 10. Look out. He's to the 15, to the 20-yard line, and White runs him down at the 25. 
Well, that's something you normally never do, field a punt inside your five, but Metcalf apparently feeling that his team needed a spike, did just that and almost broke it. He took it out to the 28-yard line. Time out on the field with the score. The Cowboys 19, the Cardinals 7. Dallas Cowboys football continues in a moment. Back once again at Texas Stadium. The Cardinals have the football. The officials mark it at the St. Louis 29, first and 10. After a 26-yard run back by Terry Metcalf, who almost broke it. Danny White saved the touchdown on the tackle. Here we go. St. Louis ready to put the ball in the play, and they'll have to put it upstairs quick. Here's Hart back to throw. Lines up. Far side right. Almost intercepted. And it's Bill Gray making the reception at the 40, and he's run out of bounds near midfield. Bob Brunick went high in the air, looked for a moment like he could pull it down. It was over his head, and Gray made the reception at the Cardinal 40-yard line and carried it to the 47. First down, St. Louis. Well, I think we're in the very dangerous area of the Cardinal pass here, Frank. They... In the last five games, I think they've won four out of four of those games in the last seven or eight minutes of the fourth quarter. Uh, we're getting a little bit more aggressive now in the air, and I think we're going to see a lot more passing from Hart. Hart has thrown it 28 times, completed 12 for 134 yards. He's had two intercepted, so has Staubach. First and ten. Cardinals moving from their 47-yard line. Hart, handoff to Wayne Morris across the 50, down to the 44-yard line of Dallas. And that's going to be very close to a first down as Leroy Jordan makes the stop. Let's pause 15 seconds for station identification. This is the Dallas Cowboys radio network. Cowboys, this is KRLD Dallas. Second down and a yard. St. Louis Cardinals are at the 44-yard line of the Dallas Cowboys. They trail 19 to 7. Jim Hart calls the signals. Fakes to Wayne Morris. He's going for the bomb. Intended for Mel Gray at the goal line. Just overthrown. Gray had two steps on Betty Barnes. But Hart put a little bit too much on it. And Hart, or rather Gray, couldn't run underneath it in the far corner at the goal line. You know, I've noticed one thing here, Frank. Uh, Hart is not setting up quite as deep as he normally does. And on that particular play, we didn't have a very good rush. We had a little penetration, and I believe uh, the Cardinal offensive line was fairly close to Hart. I think he had a little bit of a tr uh, problem there seeing over his offensive line. It, it looked like he didn't set up quite the normal eight yards that he, he generally does. Gray comes out of the ball game, replaced by a tight end on the third down short yardage situation. Third and one, Cardinals at the Cowboy 44. They'll try to pick up the first down here, I'm sure, to keep the drive going. Hart hands off to Wayne Morris. He breaks a tackle at the line of scrimmage and carries to the 35-yard line of the Cowboys. First down, keep in mind that the Cardinals need two touchdowns to win this football game because of the safety and the field goal. A touchdown and a field goal won't help them. They've got to score seven points and do it twice. And the clock moving against them now, showing six minutes and 45 seconds left to play and counting as they have a first down at the Dallas 35. Mike Harris wide to the left side for the St. Louis Cardinals as Jim Hart calls the signals, steering the Cardinals downfield. Hart faking to Wayne Morris, pass deflected, incomplete. One of the linemen tipped it as it came out and caused it to go off target. It was intended for Ike Harris at about the 20-yard line. Mark Washington was back there covering. Mark, I think that gives you an indication of, you know, Hart is not very tall and how, how low his passes are. And I think that is uh, one of the things that we talked about, you know, earlier in the game is the fact that if Cowboys can get penetration and get in front of his line of vision that uh, we've got a chance. I think that was Bill Gregory, though, that blocked that one. Second down, 10. Cardinals at the Cowboy 35. Cowboy defense digging in with six and a half minutes left to play in the football game. They're looking for Hart to throw it. He steps back into the pocket again. He looks downfield. He pumps once. He throws it to the far sideline. It is incomplete. Intended for Mel Gray. Gray was tripped up by Ben Barnes at about the 15-yard line. Barnes went sprawling. We looked up and saw Ben down on the field and saw Gray angling for the far corner, but the pass wasn't anywhere close. So it'll be third down, Ted. Well, Frank, again, uh, as we saw earlier or, or a few minutes ago, uh, Hart is throwing purely on timing, and uh, I think Benny Barnes was a man instrumental in that play. He knocked... Uh, that car, uh, he knocked his, uh, yeah, Gray off his stride, and uh, of course Gray never could get tracked, and he threw the ball before he could make his set. Round comes alive as the Cardinals bring it up to the line of scrimmage. Third down, 10 from the Dallas 35. Cowboy defense trying to hold him. Dallas leading 19 to 7. Here in the fourth period of play with the Cardinals threatening. Here's Hart back to throw. The blitz is on. He's back. He's back. Hello. 
to the limit. Randy Hughes also came barreling through there as the Cowboys had the maximum blitz on. Aaron Kyle shaking up slightly on his feet and getting ready to leave the field. And we have an official timeout now. They'll bring the trainers out to take a look at Aaron. There's a momentary break in the action, so let's pause for this. You're listening to Dallas Cowboys football. Fourth down and long for the Cardinals. They need 20 with the ball back at their 45-yard line. And Terry Joyce in to do the punting. His last one was blocked on him. The Cowboys have 10 men up front again. Now Thomas Henderson feels back about five yards. And a, a fumble by Joyce. He picks it up and holds it the end. for the loss back at the 42-yard line at St. Louis. Frank, another great break for the Cowboys. They've had many, many of them today. They've not been able to capitalize on all of them, but they are up by considerably uh, quite a few points, and the, the fact is that they continue to make these plays, and uh, somehow you sort of feel that Lady Luck may be smiling on them. Doomsday Jr. strikes again, and the Cowboys have a first down as they take over the ball at the St. Louis Cardinal 42-yard line, just under six minutes to go. Pitch out, Preston Pearson wide to the right side. Pearson turns the corner out of bounds at the 35-yard line. After picking up six, maybe seven yards on the play, Mike Sensabaugh, the Cardinal safety, made the stop. Frank, I guess the odds finally catch up with you. That play was uh, fairly successful, in fact, very successful. Uh, they've been running that play, uh, I guess they've run it four or five times today, and the thing that happened on that particular play was that we did get great blocks out of our tight end and our offensive tackle. Uh, we cut off the pursuit, and our leading back knocked the, knocked the halfback or the cornerback out, which gave Preston room to run, and he's very good, as I said, when he gets an open field. Second down, a long three for the first down. Cowboys at the Cardinal 35-yard line. And off, Robert Duhaus tries the left side, caught behind the line, breaks a tackle by Arneson, just fighting and struggling to get back to the line of scrimmage. He may have reached that point, but that's all as Arneson credited with the tackle on the play. Looked like there was a, some sort of a timing problem there on that play. Uh, Newhouse hasn't played that much this year, Frank, and uh, the timing just wasn't that good on the handoff, and I think that's, that fraction of a second is what got him in trouble on that play. Loss of a yard, that'll make it third down four. It'll be interesting to see here if uh, Landry elects to go for the pass or the run, which even if not successful, would keep the clock moving. And that clock uh, is moving against the St. Louis Cardinals now with just over five minutes left to play in the football game. Dallas leading 19 to seven. Third down four from the 36. Staubach rolling out to his right. Dodgers gonna run, try to pick up the first down, and he does. I believe he's got enough for it. There's a fumble on the play. A loose football, let's see who came up with it. The Cardinals recover the fumble at the 31-yard line. And Staubach is up off the pile, and he's arguing with one of the officials. But St. Louis recovered the fumble at the 31-yard line. So the Cardinal offense will get back into operation once again. Frank, there's the obvious disadvantage to having a running quarterback because you do get the entire team after him, and uh, they're going to hit him as hard as they can, and they're, they're going to have plenty of guys over there with him. And, of course, uh, he's not a running back. He's not used to taking the punishment, and that's just that's one of the things that can happen to you when you have a running quarterback. First and ten. Mel Gray wide to the right side. Barnes picks him up. Pike Harris is split to the left. Mark Washington on him. Cardinals from their own 32-yard line. Hart back to throw. Cowboys trying to get to him. The pass over the middle is caught by J.B. Kane for the first down at the 43-yard line. Pickup of 12 yards on the play. Leroy Jordan and Charlie Waters making the stop. Well, the Cardinals have stayed with their initial game plan. They're, they've extended their passes just a little bit. They're throwing for the 12 to 15 yard range right now, whereas early in the game on first down, they were throwing seven and eight yard range. And I think that's because Hart wants to get on down the field as fast as he can. He knows he's got to score to get them back in the ball game. First and 10, Cardinals, ball spotted at their 44, clock moving, four minutes, 15 seconds left to play in the game. Dallas leading 19 to seven. Hart dropping back to throw. Blitz is on. He gets the pass away. It is caught by Harris at the Cowboy 40. He's down at the 35 yard line. Cowboys at D.D. Lewis blitzing from the right side. He almost got to Hart. Leroy Jordan making the stop with the Cardinals penetrating deep into Dallas territory again. As the officials mark it at the Dallas 35, again, 
The clock continues to move with three minutes and 50 seconds left to play in the game. And the Cardinals need to score not one, but two touchdowns to pull this one out. Hart sends Gray wide to the right side. He's got Ike Harris split to the left. He's 14 out of 33 this afternoon. Two steps back for Hart. Looking to the far sideline, he hits Mel Gray, and he's rushed out of bounds. At the 26-yard line by Betty Barnes, and Barnes and Gray exchange a few words in front of the Cowboy bench. Clock stops the clock with 3.28 left to play. I don't think there's any friendships out there right now. They're all going for the money, and they're, they're going for the championship, and I don't, uh, there, there shouldn't be. But I think the one thing that's been very obvious is the fact that we haven't had a, an outstanding pass rush against uh, Hart today. We've had a very good pass rush when we blitz, but it, when you blitz, you're always vulnerable. And the play before last, D.D. Lewis had a great blitz, but I think Mark Washington slipped a little bit and was unable to recover on the play. First down for the St. Louis Cardinals at the Dallas Cowboy 24-yard line. Here's Hart. Back to throw it again. Cowboys trying to get to him over the middle. Deflected. Metcalf trying to find it. And almost intercepted by Harvey Martin. Metcalf was juggling that thing left and right, trying to find the handle. It was finally battered away. And Harvey, who intercepted one earlier, made a dive for it and couldn't quite reach it. Incomplete. Cowboys had very, very good coverage on that pass play. And, uh, of course, he, he always, he's like most quarterbacks. Hard he is a... Uh, Frank, in the latter stages of the game, when you've got to have the points, you always go to your proven receivers and your proven backs. And, of course, that's what he's doing right now. He's going to Mel Gray a lot, going to Terry Metcalf a lot. And I think that's what we're going to see from here on out. Second down, 10. Cardinals at the Cowboy 24. Cowboy defense dig it in with three minutes and 21 seconds left to play in the game. Dallas leading 19-7. to Here's Wayne Morris on the draw. Caught at the line of scrimmage. Great defensive play by Harvey Martin, who just reached that right arm around and nearly took Wayne's head off and dropped him at the line of scrimmage for no gain. A costly play because the clock keeps moving, and it's now three minutes and five seconds in counting. Well, that's certainly the kind of play the Cowboys needed in this particular situation, right, because they do have a lead, and uh, Harvey was, was really rushing the pass through that time. He did get his right arm over and uh, caught the running back by the head and, and pulled him down. It was a super play to Harvey Martin. All right, third down, 10. Big play for the Cardinals at the Dallas 24 with two minutes and 40 seconds left to play in the game. Jim Hart, back to throw. Cowboy rushes on. Hart puts it over the middle of Wayne Morris at the 20. Morris put from behind at the 18-yard line. Well short of the first down by defensive back Aaron Kyle. That puts the Cardinals in a fourth down and about four situation. And undoubtedly, they'll go for it here. The clock moving, and it might run all the way down to the two-minute warning. We had an extremely good rush then by our defensive line, especially the interior of the line. We had a, what we call a cha-cha, which is a stunt between the two tackles. Uh, uh, Bill Breger grabbed two. Larry Cole came around. They put a lot of pressure on Hart. It made him throw the ball short. Fourth down four for the Cardinals at the Cowboy 19. Two minutes, two seconds left. Hart back to throw. Rolling to his right, gets the pass away. Gray has it at the 10. He's to the five. He scores. Bill Gray cutting across the middle scores with a minute 55 seconds left to play and spikes the ball this time in front of Harvey Martin who has a few words to say to him. Well, Frank, right there, that, huh? There's one of the dangers of the blitz. We've been very lucky tonight on the blitz and of course I think Tom had about eight guys coming on that one and uh, sometimes you just miss the quarterback and when you do you generally have a man wide open and of course hard found him. Backing on to try the extra point which would make it 19 to 14. With a minute 55 to go, and then obviously we'll be looking for the onside kick. Here's the kick. It is up. It is good. There's a timeout of the field with the score. The Cowboys 19 and the Cardinals 14. Dallas Cowboys football continues in a moment. When the game is right up. Goodbye to Get up and get after it. It's a Chevy Monster 2 plus 2 plus. 
plus steel belted black wall radio tires and a sport steering wheel, plus the special Chevy F41 sport suspension package, plus a lot of other good things. Get it together with the available 5 liter V8 engine, buckled to a stick shift or automatic transmission. Add front and rear spoilers, and you've got your hands on a spider. It's not for everybody, but if the velvet beat up a V8 is playing tunes in your head, then it's for you. Along came a Monza Spider from Chevrolet. See what that does for your curtain way. Frank Lieber along with Bob Lilly and Brad Sham at Texas Stadium, and we're going right down to the wire in this battle for the NFC Eastern Division lead. Cowboys looking for the almost certain onside kick from the St. Louis Cardinals with a minute 55 to go. All timeouts left on both sides. The Cardinals have three left, and the Cowboys have three timeouts left. And Jim Bakken is his teammates huddled back around the 35-yard line discussing the strategy on this onside kick. Cowboys will try to cover it and perhaps pick up a first down or two and run out the clock because you'd certainly hate to give the ball back to Jim Hart and the Cardinals the way they can move it and with the history they have in the final two minutes of football games. That last Cardinal touchdown, of course, set up in a sense when Roger Staubach fumbled at the 31-yard line of St. Louis trying to pick up a first down. Cardinals took it over and marched down the field. Mel Gray on the reception end of the touchdown pass. Cowboys have nothing but linebackers, defensive backs up front. They're looking for the onside kick. They do have Butch Johnson as a single safety standing back at about the 12-yard line just in case Pocket tries to kick it away, which would mean the Cardinals have a lot of faith in their defense. Here it comes. He does kick it away. Line drives it toward the end zone. And on into the end zone and out of the end zone for the touchback. So the Cowboys will take over on the 20-yard line. And, of course, the clock does not stop until the ball is touched by anyone. So there's still a minute 55 remaining. I'm a little surprised, aren't you? They didn't try the outside, Bob. What do you think? Well, Frank, I, I think they probably wanted to. But, uh, you know, they had, the Cowboys had everybody but one man up within 20 yards of where he could have possibly kicked it. And uh, all they could have done, really, uh, in my opinion, was give the Cowboys better field position because I think the Cowboys were in a position that they would have gotten the ball on the, on the 30 or 40-yard line anyway. First and 10 for the Cowboys, who will try to run the clock down some here. Roger Staubach hands off Preston Pearson, tries the right side, caught behind the line of scrimmage and buried at the 16-yard line for a loss of four. And the Cardinals use their first timeout to stop the clock with a minute 47 to go. Mike Sensabaugh and Tim Kearney making the stop. Cardinals have called time. So they have two left. Cowboys 19, Cardinals 14. Everyone predicted this one would go right down to the finish, and that's exactly the case. And the one thing the Cowboys don't want to do is give the ball back to the Cardinals, and if they do give the ball back to the Cardinals, they don't obviously want to give many any timeouts. So at the very least, the Cowboys want the Cardinals to use up their timeouts on this particular Dallas offensive series. When play is back in, the Cowboys will have a second down and 13 upcoming from their own 17-yard line with one minute, 47 seconds to play. Roger Staubach, 10 out of 21, only 82 yards in the passing department. He's had two intercepted. Kind of an average day so far for Roger, but I think the specialty teams have helped turn it around in some big plays, including that pass off the fake punt formation in the last minute of the first half, which led to a Cowboy touchdown. Time back in. Cowboys up to the line of scrimmage. Staubach would like a little quiet. On second down, 13. Laidlaw and Pearson, the running backs. Here's a straight handoff. Laidlaw up the middle, back to the 20-yard line. Picked up the three. They lost. On the previous play, as the Cardinals try to wrestle the ball loose. And now St. Louis calls another timeout to stop the clock. There's timeout on the field with the score. Cowboys 19, Cardinals 14. Dallas Cowboys football continues in a moment. Now it's Sanger Harris, Pico's Ultra Thin Sports Watch. It combines the most elegant men's and ladies' styling with the most accurate timekeeping. These battery-powered timepieces remain amazingly accurate without any winding. Come to Sanger Harris and see Pico. So precise, it's actually changing the world standard of accuracy. Now before the holiday season.
season, let Prince put the lively look of living in your home. They're supervised on name brand furniture in every department. Something for every need. Prince offers a wide selection of styles in contemporary, early American, Mediterranean, traditional, and casual. At five convenient Prince locations in Dallas and Irving. One minute, 42 seconds left to play at Texas Stadium. In this Thanksgiving Day heartstopper, the Dallas Cowboys have a third down 10 upcoming at their 20-yard line. The Cardinals have just one timeout left. So if all goes as expected, I doubt seriously the Cowboys will put the ball in the air. They'll try to keep it inbounds and keep the clock running and force the Cardinals to call their final timeout. And then they'll have to give the ball back to the Cardinals, but they won't have any timeouts left. Here's Staubach, got him in the shotgun. So let's see what happens. Third and ten. Offside on St. Louis looks to be the case. Staubach fumbled the snap, and the ball went rolling free, but the whistle sounded prior to the snap of the ball from center. Let's see if the Cardinals were drawn off or the, Cowboy, or the Cowboys were drawn off. Well, against the Cowboys, the Cardinals were pulled offside by the Cowboys. Ball has moved back to the 15-yard line. It's now third down, 15. Cardinals going with a prevent defense of their own. They put a couple of defensive backs in there. Dwayne Crump comes in. So does Clarence Duran. Legal procedure, number 62, offense. Ball against the center, John Fitzgerald. One minute, 39 seconds left to play in the game. Third down, 15 for the Cowboys from their 15-yard line. You know, Frank got tonight's call because there's no way he could be in motion unless he was late. And the Cowboys come up with a shotgun, and everybody in the stadium holds their breath. Good snap to Stalbach. Bates back to throw. Runs up the middle. He's out to the 10, 15, still looking. He wants to stay in bounds, but Cannon has finally run out of bounds at the 22-yard line. I'm surprised he hesitated as much as he did. I thought he'd just take straight up upfield. Mark, I thought he looked for it myself. I think that was a designed play that he was, that was set up. You and I talked to during the break, and uh, I, fe I felt like that Roger was going to be the one to run it. I don't think they wanted to put the ball in the air, but uh, I felt like that they would like to probably see him run it and maybe try to get a first down. In essence, though, it gives the Cardinals a free timeout because he did uh, run for the near sideline and go out of bounds. So the Cardinals still have a timeout left. Danny White will be punting from back at his five-yard line, and now it's the Cardinals who have ten men on the line of scrimmage ready to rush. Jerry Metcalf in single safety. Standing back at his 40. Cardinals should come up with pretty good field position. They're playing return all the way. Nice high punt by Danny White. Fair catch signal by Metcalf at the 37-yard line of St. Louis. And the Cardinals will put it in play at their 37 with a minute 23 left in the game and one timeout left. And now the roar goes up for Doomsday. It's up to the Cowboy defense to stop them. They don't need a field goal this time. They've got to have the touchdown. Same situation the Cardinals were in last Sunday against Washington when they got the ball back with about this much time to play. Frank, we've got Mel Renfro in a quarterback also. I don't think he's made an appearance here today. First and ten. Here come the Cardinals from their 37-yard line, trailing 19 to 14. Back to throw. Goes Jim Hart. Sets up. Gets the pass away. Far sideline. It is incomplete. Incomplete at the 50-yard line. He hesitated for a moment because it looked as if the ball might have been caught by Mel Gray, but the officials really trapped it in front of the Cowboy bench. We had a great pass rush then, Frank. Uh, the Cowboys, of course, know what's facing them. They don't have to worry about the run anymore. They don't have to get in the, the uh, run defense if they play a lot of the time, and uh, they're going to go after Hart, so we'll see what happens. Gray was there. The pass was just under thrown. Here the crowd chanting defense down the background. Second down, 10. Cardinals at their 37-yard line. To the left side. Gray to the right. Jim Hart back to throw it. Here comes the rush. Hart sets up. Floats it out to Wayne Morris. It's short. It's complete. Eric Carl was back defending. It'll be third and ten for the Cardinals. At their 37 with a minute ten left to play in the ballgame. The Cardinals still have one timeout left. Right now, Frank, the big difference in the Cowboy team is the fact that they're getting a great pass rush for that defensive line. They're, they're using a lot of stunts in there, and on that particular play, we had the, the two tackles going outside, the ends coming in, and we had a good rush by both Harvey Martin and Ed Jones. Again, the 
champ rises from the stands beneath this defense as the Cardinals prepare to break their huddle. Third down, 10. St. Louis from its 37-yard line. With a minute 10 left to play, they have to have a touchdown. Hart has it up to the line of scrimmage. Bends down under the center. Starts to call the signals. Backs up the throw. Gets the pass away over the middle and is incomplete. play we had super coverage out of Charlie Waters. He made a great play. I think Hart is, is hesitating to throw the ball long because we have been getting a very fine rush on the first two downs. So right now I think mainly he's interested in making the first down. Benches on both sides on their feet as the Cardinals come up to the line of scrimmage. Fourth and ten at their own 37. They have to have at least the first down here to keep the drive going. Hart marks the signals. Back to throw. The rush is on. He sets up. He throws it over the middle. It's caught by Harris at the 45 of Dallas. Down at the 41-yard line by Mark Washington. First down for the Cardinals. And the Cardinals use their final timeout to stop the clock with 54 seconds left to play in the game. There's a timeout on the field with the score. The Cowboys 19, the Cardinals 14. Jim Hart has conferred with his coach, Don Coriel, at the near sidelines and is now back in the huddle. As the Cardinals have a first down at the Cowboy 40-yard line, no timeouts left. And 54 seconds showing on the clock, so he'll either have to go for the whole thing or go for the sideline throw. Get the ball out of bounds quickly to stop the clock. The crowd roaring, many of them on their feet here, as are both benches. As Hart starts to call the signals for the St. Louis Cardinals. Back to throw. He goes for the far sideline. The pass is caught. And Gray is out of bounds at the 13. Bill Gray out of bounds at the 13-yard line. It is first and 10 for the Cardinals with 48 seconds to go. Benny Barnes and Cliff Harris make the stop. Frank, we had a super play. Uh, we had a good rush on Hart. Uh, Hart just right back and threw the ball on timing. We had great coverage, and he made the catch anyway and put them right on down there in the contention for a touchdown and a win. Double okay. coverage. That time on Mel Gray, he still beat it to make the catch. No timeouts left for the Cardinals. 48 seconds showing on the clock. St. Louis with a first down at the Dallas 13-yard line. Hart has him up to the line of scrimmage. He's ready to go. He backs up the throw. Cowboys trying to get through. He pumps it once. He rolls out to his right. Gets the pass away for Cade. It is incomplete in the end zone. The ball hung in the air just momentarily. And it gave Mel Winfro and Cliff Harris enough time to get there and bat it away. A hard stopper. Second down. Ten to go from the 13. Well, this is St. Louis and Washington last Sunday all over again from about this same point. The Cardinals had four shots at it and could not complete a pass in four downs. And Hart is trying to pull it out again. Cowboys 19, Cardinals 14. 41 seconds left. Up come the Cardinals to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10. From the 13-yard line of the Dallas Cowboys. Gray to the right side, Harris to the left. Hart is ready. Under the center, backs up the throw. Looks to the far side, he's got Metcalf at the 10. Metcalf out of bounds at the 8-yard line. No, he did not get out. He did not get out of bounds. 30 seconds and counting. So now the Cardinals have to regroup quickly and get back up to the line of scrimmage. They'll run a play without using a huddle from the 8-yard line. Third down and four. 20 seconds left to play in the game. The clock continues to go back to throw goes Hart. He looks over the middle. He throws it. It is incomplete. It's in the contain. It is fourth down. And again, we go down to the final down with 13 seconds left to play of the game. Fourth and four for the first down. Eight for the touchdown for the St. Louis Cardinals. Frank, keep talking. <laughs> I can't. I don't know if I can say anything or not. My heart's up in my throat. This is it. This is for all the marbles. Fourth down. Four for the first down. Seven yards, call it for the touchdown as the Cardinals come up to the line of scrimmage with 13 seconds to go. Hart leads him up, hands under the center. He's ready. He looks around. He backs up the throw. He looks. He gets it away. The pass is incomplete. It is no good. And the Cowboys take over with eight seconds left to play. Roaring! The 
Cowboys will take over. The fourth down pass was nowhere near the intended receiver who was Bill Gray. It looked like Hart finally just had to throw it just to get rid of the ball before he was back. Frank, I think that was the case, but I, I think the jubilation that we see out there right now among the Cowboys trying to get off the field shows us that the Cowboys have now got that enthusiasm back. And what a game. What a game this has been. Eight seconds left to play. Cardinals with no timeouts. All the Cowboys have to do is sit on the football for one play. And Dallas will have a two-game lead over St. Louis in the battle for the NFC Eastern Division crowd. And, of course, the Cardinals now in bad shape, really, for making the playoffs at all because they have the same record as the Washington Redskins, but the Redskins are one up on them on the tiebreaker, having beaten the Cardinals twice this season. So if the Redskins win their remaining games and the Cardinals win theirs, St. Louis, despite being tied for second place in the one-loss record, would not make the playoffs. I have never been so exhausted during a ballgame. Uh, I can imagine. We've had one outstanding game here, and I think we've got to give an awful lot of credit to the Cowboys secondary. They've come in there in the last half, and uh, after last week's game, they've come back, they've bounced back, they've covered the Cardinals, who are probably the hardest team to cover, and they've done a super job of it. Roger Staubach up to the line of scrimmage. Cardinals have 10 men on the line. Staubach simply hands onto the football clock, takes away five seconds, four seconds, three seconds out. Football Conference Eastern Division race. Quite a battle between two outstanding football teams and the crowd that made it out to Texas Stadium this afternoon got their money's worth because they saw quite a game. So the Cowboys now with a 10-day breather to look forward to and they'll play the Philadelphia Eagles a week from Sunday and attempt to wrap up the Eastern Division on that day. This is Frank Lieber along with Bob Lilly, Brad Sham, and our producer Gary Brad saying thanks for joining us. Stay tuned now for the post-game show. Again, our final score, the Cowboys 19 and the Cardinals 14. <laughs>